Casino Studios. It's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1. Frosty, Heidi, Frank show, Monday, July 17th. Very important day in my history. Anybody know? Yep. Okay, Heidi knows. I can tell. She jumped in really quick. I have no idea. No idea? Anybody else? Why well, July 17th is a very important day in my history? Your divorce date. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Don't really remember that date. But that would be a glorious celebration date to remember for most people. I Yay, mean, liberation remember, day. I remember I had sex with a 19-year-old on that day, but I don't remember the day. Mm. Mm. It wasn't the, no, wasn't it the 18th that you had? <laughs> or no, what, what Which the is day weird to say day? that than say this is an important day because my, my daughter turns 20 years old today. That's crazy. Oh. That little girl that came into my life at five years old, and I told you all about it on April Fool's Day, and you thought I was lying, and then the next day I was like, no, that was this. true. She's 20. turning 20 today, folks. Technically. 15 years ago, I told you about that on the air. Technically, she's 15 in your life. Yeah, dog years, but it's that. <laughs> you skipped the first five yeah. you weren't there, years, so. However you, um, 20 already. Yeah, paternity years. <laughs> Mori Povich years. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you were dancing. It's 15, yes. Yeah. So she, This girl is a woman now. <laughs> no more teenager. That's just... Well, she's celebrating it in Europe, so yeah. She's often God. in Italy right now. Uh, my yes. 20th birthday, I was... What did you do on your 20th birthday, Heidi? Probably worked. Worked. The movie theater. Probably working down the movie theater. Drinking Coors Lights or something at night, you know. Gone with Ooh. the wind just opened. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago. Twenty. I mean, my God, that's. I know, huh? That is crazy. It's crazy, like for even me to go. God, I could have a twenty-year-old, but I could have an older child than twenty. I mean, when you like, I have friends that are like, "Yeah, he's graduating college." I'm like, going, wait, what? Thinking that she's you know held out and she's going to school and she hasn't had a baby of her own yet, but she could have. I could be a, I could be a grandpa. She might be getting pregnant right now. I could be grandpa right now. She celebrated her birthday last night and turned midnight earlier over there. So she, she's probably pregnant right now. And I'm a grandpa. That's why oh, most more reason to celebrate. Single day. 20-year-old American women go to Italy. Oh, my God. Is it weird? Is that the right word? Is it? Does it give you anxiety? Because no. I, I can't imagine being a parent because I worry about my dog for crying out loud. Getting pregnant? Your dog's boy. No, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying I worry about my dog. You know, I can't imagine having no. children and a girl, and then a girl is, is a young woman, and all the vulnerabilities and dangers out there would drive me crazy. I just leave a bowl of food out for her. You know, oh, okay. I, I open yeah. up a bag so when I'm not there, she can just eat whatever yeah. she wants. So I'm not really worried yeah, about her. Free feed. Yeah, it's free yeah. feeding. Yeah. I worry. I leave the toilet lid open so she can drink. So you know, it's all. You're it's good. okay. I don't worry about. You're, you're good. You're good. I worry less about sons and daughters just because maybe it's old-fashioned way of thinking. But you know, women are vulnerable until a certain age. Yeah, but sons can get themselves into I heaps know. of trouble too. But Peace. if I had a son say, hey, Dad, can I go to Europe for the summer? Sure. If a 20-year-old daughter, can I go to Europe for the summer? Of course, I can't really say But who no, would you trust but... more in Europe, your daughter or your son? I mean, don't you feel a little better with your daughter? Like, yeah. your son would go crazy in Europe. <laughs> I went to Europe when I was 19. That's why I really couldn't tell her no. Oh, man. And so, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, God. Mm. Uh, I do have a dog story, though, since you brought up your dog and, and how those are your kids. Uh -huh. Oh, horrible dog story. I can't imagine. <laughs> why? Uh, yeah, you and the, yeah, Frosty and Lisa, all big dog lovers, dog owners. When you hear this story, no, <laughs> going to ruin our day, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Great. And our makeup. All right, uh, but I'll have to get uh, traffic first, Lisa. Hello, traffic. <laughs> Hello, Frank. <laughs> Hello, <traffic. laughs> this is traffic. <laughs> <laughs> this traffic report is brought to you by Raging Waters. Finding delays on the 10 this morning, the San Bernardino Freeway westbound. Basically, as you leave the 57 all the way over towards the 605, it's a crash west 10 at Fraser, off to the right shoulder. Westbound on the 60 past Phillips Ranch Road. Five car pileup in the left two lanes. That has you on the brakes at Mountain Avenue. There's a two car crash on the 105 eastbound at Bellflower Boulevard. It's taking up the fast lane. Traffic is slow from the 710. Good news in Orange County. There was a SIG alert that started around 2 a.m., a fatal accident they had to investigate. And so the connector from the northbound 55 to the west 22 was closed down all night. That has been reopened. And on the 405 northbound before Harbor Boulevard and Costa Mesa, some metal debris reported in the left lane. Live for summer at Raging Waters Los Angeles, California's largest water park with more thrills like the first hydromagnetic coaster on the west coast. Save up to $13 on select days at RagingWaters.com. That's traffic on 95.5 KLOS.
Are you paying too much for auto insurance? Visit AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote and find out how much you could save. Find competitive rates on auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. Have you ever wondered what it's like to have it all? Of course you have. Well, the all-new 2018 Equinox was designed with your needs and your wants in mind from style and technology to performance and safety. The all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox offers the complete package. I recently took the Equinox out on a Chevy course recently, and I got to say, you know, I'm an SUV girl, and this Equinox is roomy like an SUV, but it's really fast and sporty like a sports car. It does have it all, and it comes from the most awarded car company three years in a row. Chevy, check it out today. Hey, it's Peter Tilton, and I want to tell you about Flooring Pros. Their selection and prices are definitely going to floor you because they've got beautiful natural hardwoods, laminates, vinyl, and tile, and they can beat the price of the big national advertiser who you see advertised every day by as much as 50%. And they get it done right because they have an enormous selection and everything is in stock. That means you can get a free estimate one day and installation the very next day. So check out FlooringPro.com. They're on Google. They're on that beautiful website, Howls, and check out their Yelp reviews. They're fantastic. Fantastic. So for the largest selection of the finest hardwoods, environmentally friendly flooring, laminates, exceptionally trained experts, and the best price guaranteed, call the number one flooring company in Los Angeles, FlooringPro.com at 800-815-1565. That's 800-815-1565. Call them for a free estimate or go to FlooringPro.com. Flooring Pro, their prices will flow. Finding great candidates to hire can be, well, like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is different. It doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them with its powerful technology. ZipRecruiter distributes your job everywhere it needs to be to find the right candidates. In fact, over 80% of jobs on ZipRecruiter get a qualified candidate in just one day. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, only ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. Used by businesses of all sizes, ZipRecruiter offers the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash rock. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash rock for your free trial. ZipRecruiter.com slash rock. Weeds love your garden. They hide near flowers knowing you can't touch them. Now you can with Roundup Weed and Grass Killer with Sure Shot One from The Home Depot. A special buy at just $19.97. The protective shield means pinpoint accuracy so you can target weeds without harming surrounding plants. With Roundup in hand, weeds are in trouble. Roundup Weed and Grass Killer with Sure Shot One, just $19.97, now at The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Valid through August 2nd while supplies last U.S. only. Okay, clogged pores, I've had it. You think I don't notice your pesky blackheads? It's all I see. Why else would I be dodging photos, yelling back up, zoom out, not so close? But now, I've got Biore Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strips. With natural charcoal, they pluck out stubborn dirt, oil, and even blackheads in just one strip. So go ahead, snap away. With Biore, I have finally found the skin of my dreams. Biore, free your pores. The blues. Everyone gets them. But depression isn't just a feeling of sadness. It can affect the way you see the world. Your body may constantly feel fatigued, and your mind may dwell on thoughts of worthlessness and guilt. If you've had a case of the blues for too long and it's causing you to lose interest in the things you love, please listen carefully. Those feelings of hopelessness or pessimism, insomnia or difficulty concentrating may be symptoms of clinical depression. CNS is currently seeking participants for a depression clinical research study. You may be qualified if you're diagnosed with depression, currently take antidepressants, and are 18 years or older. Investigational medication and clinic visits are at no cost to qualifying participants, and compensation may be available for time and travel. To learn more, contact CNS today at 844-714-7474 or visit them on the web at cnstrial.com slash depression. That's 844-714-7474. CNS, searching for a cure together. 844-714-7474. This is the Legal Minute with super lawyer Darren Cavanoke, founder of 1-800-NO-CUFFS. On the phone, we have Susan. You got a question for Darren? 
Yeah, hi, Darren. What about those field sobriety tests? Do I really have to take them? These tests are optional, and anything that you do on those roadside gymnastics, all those so-called tests like standing on one leg, touching your nose, saying the alphabet backwards, all of that stuff is designed to help the prosecutor get a conviction in court. But here's the key. It's not just that you can say no, it's how you say no. The best thing to do is to link your saying no to exercising your right to an attorney. So say, I'd love to cooperate, but my lawyer would kill me. And then call 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Hey, thanks so much for the call. If you're ever in trouble, call us at 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Because remember, no one looks good in handcuffs. You know, unless you're into that sort of thing. Now, back to Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Nonstop for the next 40 minutes. On 95.5 KLOS. All right, you want to hear that horrible dog story? No. no. Yeah, you do. No. A lost dog. Is that your biggest fear? Oh, you have no idea. You get home, the door's open, the dog's gone. That's it. Gate's open. Yes. Gone. Dog. What would you do? Uh, would you search? Of course you would. I've thought this cry out. first. I've thought this out. I've put flyers around the uh, three-mile area. A crazy, ridiculous reward. Just an insane How amount. How much would your reward be, do you think? Well, I'm not going to say because then people go steal my dog, Frank, but I'm just that, That's a good point. <laughs> but it would be, it would make the news, see? It would be such a high reward and such a heartfelt, weepy poster. It would make the news, and then that would get the word out. And plus my dog would Would it make world chance. news? Would the amount be so much that the world would be looking for your dog? Yes. Wow. So I'm pretty sure that somebody somewhere, it's like the hunt for bin Laden or the hunt for, you know... Yeah. Saddam Hussein, whatever, because that's the dog worth fired on the news. So no matter who took him, no matter what reason, they'll return him. And I'll have my dog back. Maybe they didn't take him. Why would they take him? Maybe he just escaped. He can't escape. Gardner left a... He's new escape. Gardner left the gate open. I have a double gate. Double gate? Mm -hmm. You look suspicious. <laughs> See? A house with a double gate. I'm like, what in the hell's going on back Just there? when you think you're in, ah, oh, damn and it. They're both, I'm not in. They're both self closing <laughs> and 30 feet apart, so there's no way the gardener can leave both open. It's impossible. You've timed it, so there's no way. Yes, I did. That's why, that's why I'm in that ridiculous house I'm in, Frank, with three empty bedrooms that I never use. It's because the amazing yard and guard area yeah. for the dog, it's. It's, it's like more a, of a house for him. It is. It's for my dog. But when you move to your, back to your new place, when the tenant you have right now moves out, you don't have a double gate. I thought of that, Frank. I'm having it installed. I've oh. already got the blueprints and everything. I'm having a second double gate installed with this concrete barrier and like a. It'd be easier to cross the border in North Korea and South Korea <laughs> than to get to my backyard. <laughs> uh, Are you worried someone's going to take your dog, or you're putting in the double gate because he's trying to escape? <laughs> <laughs> it's like if dog prison. Thumbs, so. I know. Get the razor wire at the top. Guard towers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this lost dog went out with his owners, uh, Darwin and Cindy Cameron. Well, with, with that guy, I mean, you know bad things are going to happen. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. It, things just evolve. And, uh, yeah. He went on a hunting trip in Idaho. And uh, I'm not sure what they were hunting for, but it was obviously in the fall winter seasons, and the dog ended up wandering off. And it was uh, a Mo. His name was Mo. He was a Mo. <laughs> His name was Mo, and he's an elderly Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Oh, and they're he, like curly labs. And he wandered away from uh, the owners during that hunting trip last September. September? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a long time ago. It was near a tiny town called Horseshoe Bend, about 30 miles north of Boise, up in Idaho. But we all know where that is now. Thanks for throwing in that last part. What, Boise? I bet a lot of people don't know that. I have no idea. There's a lot of stupid-ass people out there. You didn't know where Boise was? I, yes, but I'm a geography. I know the maps. Geography minor. Right. We've tested you before. You, you failed out. Well, some things change. There's no more Yugoslavia. He told me. I didn't know Yugoslavia in there anymore. So he Don't even get him started on Bosnia Herzegovina. Czechoslovakia, what happened to you? <laughs> so he wandered away. <laughs> and they searched for him. Mo, Mo. But he never came back. And the snow got too deep. To keep looking for him. Yeah, of course. So they stayed there, right there at Horseshoe Bend. That's about 30 miles north of Boise from. <laughs> 
And stayed there for three months. They stayed right there with the dog? Looking oh. for the dog. Eventually, obviously, it was September, you know, October, November, December. Those are the months. <laughs> Snow got too deep. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You can't continue this search. I mean, hunters who went up there to, with their tags to go hunting for whatever it might be, probably an elk or something, yeah. said, you know what, we won't even use our tags to go hunting. We'll just go help you hunt for Mo. Mm. No and luck. No Mo. <laughs> no Mo. <laughs> they tried drones, everything, everything nothing. Nothing. Then mm. a dog rescuer named Sherry she took in a starving retriever that had collapsed at a nearby ranch. She posted photos of the dog on Facebook, and word quickly reached the Camerons that Mo may have been found. They were initially hesitant to see the dog after receiving so many false alarms. People saying, I think I have your dog, but it wasn't Mo. Mo had lost her hearing and half her body weight while surviving in the wild. Oh, my God. For nine months. And it was an older dog. Yeah. yeah. 14 years old. 14, Frosty. It's like a 110 year old man. Yeah, wandering for nine Lived months. Lived out in the Idaho mountains for nine months through this harsh winter where snow was too deep to even search anymore. Oh my God. How did he get food? Did he stumble upon this uh, amazing, where they grow the Alpo or something? This patch of Alpo cans? <laughs> there in Idaho. <laughs> Openers? <sighs> you think but, it starves to death? Seriously. You can't chase down rabbits at a, that age. Yeah. Sherry warned the couple, probably ate his own poop, like most dogs. But after a few cycles of that, aren't all the nutrients gone? You would think. <laughs> That's why he lost sink. half the body weight. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, the dog rescuer, warned the couple that she would not be exactly as they remembered her. This is, they all expect this kind of Disneyland response, like you see sometimes in videos when veterans come home. And to be perfectly honest, that's abnormal. People don't understand that the dogs have gone into survival mode. So, despite Mo's subdued behavior, they saw the owners like, I don't know who you people are. Uh, oh, that, wait a uh, minute. They recognized her mannerisms and other oh. distinctive details on the dog. Right. I was going to say, maybe it's not the same dog. Got to be Mo. <laughs> <laughs> so, the couple is thankful to all the people who came forward to make oh the reunion God. possible. Do we have pictures of Mo? I want to see Mo. The end. There's Mo. What a oh, happy look ending. how old Mo is. Look at the eyes. I don't know if I would have stuck around old horse bend about 30 miles north of Boise, Frosty, for three months for a 14-year-old dog. You. And I've been like, hey, probably, you know, this curled up under a nice big tree somewhere next to a babbling stream and <laughs> passed away. Yeah, that's a long time to uproot you your would. life. I three would. months, these people don't have jobs? Who could do that? Yeah, we're going up yeah, there for going maybe. on a hunting trip for a weekend or a week. Lost yeah. the dog. Three months of our lives, we can just put on hold and call in. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't come to work today. Still looking for Mo up in uh, Boise. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm using Yeah, my he's sick 14. Days. Yeah, I'm using all my. Yeah. What? Personal days. I'd have been out of there. Most people have mortgages and car payments yeah. and need money yeah. coming in. You got to work and. Zzz. Yeah, I guess you'd just. that independently wealthy and get another dog. Frank, it's a cold Get a couple. Hell my God, you're loaded. Stop. Take care of them. I wonder if some other couple who lives in the cabins, it's up in the woods, like some hermit cabin people brought the dog in you know fed it and kept it alive for six then seven they months. died and he ate them and then it like, and yeah, finally yeah. had to crawl out it's, it's like he must have had shelter and food somewhere coming from somebody somewhere during the time maybe they got tired of him or Unless he just wandered so off from remote. them remote i mean then on the drive back home he died in the back seat don't no he didn't no he didn't he didn't he didn't oh, but what, what god <laughs> But hey, there's a feel-good story of the day. That Thank you. That's awesome. I'm, I'm shocked, Frank. Knowing you as as we all do, I didn't expect a happy ending well, at I all. I know. I, I do that every now and then. They found what fur and bones. No mo. <laughs> uh, what? what? <laughs> why, why would you do that to us? <laughs> well, I'll usually throw, throw in a horrible ending and Heido go, what? No, go, no, that never happened. It well, stopped, yeah, like but they it found Mo lived happily ever after. <laughs> oh, yeah, but then you had to add on he died in the back seat. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, wait, what? Well, like, he made it all that way, and he just wanted to be with his family when he died. So them showing up actually killed him. <laughs> but what? But every movie you see of, like, the dog coming out of the woods and recognizing the owners and running to it. No, it doesn't happen. Your dog is still is, goes shock. into that, I'm a wild animal beast, and I'm afraid of humans. Oh, my God. When I take my dog to uh, the kennel for a week when I go on vacation, like I did two weeks ago, uh -huh. when I pick him up, he's not the same dog. He's more like a dog. 
as opposed to a human. He doesn't. Because he's living in a home and not a prison. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he's, he's, walls at this joint. <laughs> he's all growly and. You know, he's, he's sort of standoffish. He's not he's, like smiley. He happy growls at you because <laughs> he's running around with a bunch of dogs for a week. He becomes a dog again, and then he's he's back to normal now. He's more human now. Oh, that's right. Cause he's an only child, so he doesn't get that. All he dog. sees is me, Heidi. So he emulates oh me. Oh my God! No wonder he wants to escape. <laughs> <laughs> you might need triple wall. He's kind, considerate. <laughs> Redo the blueprint. Charming, funny, <laughs> Just socially active. Dig a basement. And keep him down there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said something profound to me one time about dogs I've never forgotten. It's, um, okay, what the hell is it? <laughs> I don't remember. But anyway, I'll paraphrase. <laughs> dogs come into our life to remind us how to love. Charles Charles. I guess it was Charles Charles. Charles. Yes. <laughs> if I had to guess who told you that, it was Charles Charles. I think it was Charles. <laughs> to love. It's true to remind you how to love. Sometimes we forget. We get all caught up in our lives. And, mm -hmm. They and, just keep it simple. Yeah. They live in the moment. I don't believe that. Doesn't surprise me, but it's 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 a very mind you how to love. Usually, it's no one can love like a dog. It's how you should love, but you don't. Right. Whereas they walk through the door and every, every you know whatever happened when they walked out, the door's gone. That's right. They're when they open, they open the, the door moment. and come back. Yeah, they, they love dogs are moment right lovers. Right now, right now. Hi, I love. Hi, oh my, where have you been? Oh my God. I know you might have been pissed at me for eating the eating the couch a second ago, but uh, I still love you, and I'm gonna you know. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I don't. Or I didn't do you, that. You I left my it. water dish dry for like the last two days. I know you forgot, and I've been drinking out of the pool. But you know, all right, I'll forgive you now. And now I'm back in love in your face. So up. yeah, it's no big. That they teach you how you should love. Yeah. Right? Don't, don't hold yeah, on to stuff. Like They're as close as to unconditional love as you can get. Though it's not unconditional with a dog, because if God forbid you beat a dog, suddenly they still won't. Loves love, you. No, they won't. They, still at does. some point, they don't want you around. But you, but you got to really be a total jerk to to get to that point. Otherwise, they're pretty much close to unconditional love. They just let things. And sort of most good mothers, you don't find that on this earth. <laughs> right. You just don't. Mm -hmm. Moms and dogs. It's where you can get that kind of love. You walk in the door. Really? Uh, a lot of people out there going, my mom sucks. I know. So <laughs> Does your mom suck? 1-800-955-5567. <laughs> we were looking for a topic, and we found it. Does your mom suck? That's got to be a rough. We were going to save it for Mother's Day, but you know what? <laughs> Seems to fit here. It does have, that's got to be a rough way to go through life if you've got a crappy mom. I can't imagine that because mine like, was so every, wonderful. Because everything can fall apart in your life and in the world, but you, if you got your mom, you're like, oh, I'm, All right, it's the F My Mom Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the worst mom for, for prizes? one 800 F my mom challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, send this off to the archives and the museum. Yeah, there we go. Well, we're gonna get it's in never one been done on radio before, I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do it weekly, by God. Yeah, hell yeah, every Monday. <laughs> With a theme, probably. F my mom challenge. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> I don't think any of us in this room could play. Really? Great, I mean, great mom, like, great mom, the, great yeah, mom. I mean, Everyone has a great mom in this room, right? Yeah. Except yeah. for Eric's mom. What's wrong with your mom? No, my mom's fine. She's, I mean, I like she's my a little mom. too honest with you. Yeah, she's very honest with well. me. One time I remember I was so proud because my mom was a great singer. Fantastic, beautiful singer. She always got the solo at church. Yeah. Her dream was to be a singer until I was born, and I ruined that. No wonder she oh. And you were a sick baby, so it was like hardcore. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And she reminded me of that all the time. I could have been famous. I could have oh, been no. big. And you I that Ugh. And one time I remember going to her and saying, Mom, listen, I know how to harmonize. And there was a song on the radio, and I specifically remember we were in the garage, and Sex and Candy was on. Remember that song? <laughs> I uh, smell sex and that? Can Marcy Playground. Marcy Playground. Oh, and so I would play it over and over and over and over and over. And I wanted to surprise her and tell her I knew how to harmonize now. So now I could sing with you, Mom. I can help make your dreams come true by being your one and only son singing with you. And so uh, I put the song on. And I said, listen, here it goes. And I go, I smell sex and candy here. <laughs> Who's this? And I sang one note. <laughs> yeah, right. And she goes, never do that again. That was really terrible. That was not harmony. You were singing one note. Get better and come back. And then she me. ran to her bedroom and slammed the door and started crying. <laughs> I could have been famous. You ruined That's what life. I gave birth to. <laughs> I, but I feel like that moment made me I think better. she would have left you in Idaho. I think she would have <laughs> out in the woods. A babbling brook. There, she wouldn't have spent three months there at Horseshoe Bend. That's about 30 miles north of Boise, Frosty. <laughs> I've heard.
You'll never forget it now. You should see the snows in the wintertime. I guarantee you'll take a vacation there someday. I may. I'm thinking of you the whole time. I may give tours. This is where the dog went missing. This is where they found it. Yeah. What was in between? We don't know. Just You can call them uh, Mo Tours. Actually, you should sell hoes, too. <laughs> We'll, we'll hoe shop, we'll garden shop. Yeah. And also give tours, find yeah, them out. Yeah, we're most. You can call, you can call whatever you want, but whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Sex and candy, yeah. Who's that lounging in my chair? Never See, do I that think again. That's good. That's because you can't sing. You're tone know. deaf. You're pretty good. <laughs> you are so tone deaf, Heidi. It's ridiculous. I'd be a good mom, though, because I'd go, that is wonderful. You no. are just a... <laughs> then, then your kid goes on American Idol, and they get, they get destroyed in front of the nation and the world. My mom said I was the best ever since she had I don't care what you say, Simon. <laughs> Mommy said I was good. Okay. How old were you when you sang that for your mama? I was probably 30. 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a weird song to sing to your mom. I smell sex it's and candy. Weird, yeah. It was very popular at the time. Yeah, but she'd yeah. rather hear bringing in the sheaves. <laughs> <laughs> she was a Pentecostal, as I recall. All right, we have uh, a couple of contestants for F My Mom Challenge. Uh, let's see, talk to Mike first. Hello, Mike. Hi. Good morning. 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 Tell us about your horrible mom. Uh, well, uh, when I was about to graduate high school, she said I'd never graduate. Um, we got in a big fight when I got, came back from the Army, and she said that I wasn't hers. <laughs> Even though <laughs> it's, it's different. I'm sorry, what? Why, why, why'd why she say that you weren't hers? Yeah, exactly. Why? Even though my birth certificate says different. Did you and insist I on a DNA I test? I to her in 20 years. Do you, you know she's alive or dead? Uh, she's alive. My sister checks on her every once in a while. Did she just she... ever get along with you, or would you always just rub her the wrong way? I mean, was there one thing that uh, led to we another? Were really, we were really close when I was a kid because my dad was a hole. But um, I went away to the Army, and when I came back, everything changed. Mm. Hmm. All right, Mike, you stay on hold. You're going up against uh, Eric in the uh, F My Mom Challenge. Hello, Eric. Hey, morning, guys. What's up with your mom? Well, my mom's piece of work. Uh, when I was four, her and my father got into fights and arguments, and she didn't have the money to fight a custody battle, so she put me into foster care and said my dad abused me. And then when in foster care, I was sexually abused. And then so that led up to a effed up life. And then me drinking, partying, led to me to go to prison. Then she totally ignored me and would refuse to talk to me. All right. So, uh, All right. She's a pretty piece yeah. of work, you know. Stay on hold. Well, some of that stuff isn't his mom's fault. Well, I mean, no, I'm I... sorry you got sexually abused well, in that's foster her care. Fault. But that wasn't. Well, she her... wouldn't be in. He wouldn't be in foster care. It wasn't for his mom putting him in foster care. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it sucks he got bad foster care, but but just because you go to foster care doesn't mean you become sexually abused. Yes, it does. Sometimes. sometimes that's what sometimes. I tell my kids. Oh, I'm like, okay. oh, you can go to foster care and get sexually abused. I don't care. You tell them that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'll call the cops right now and take you, tell you to foster care. You'll be sexually abused in 20 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> now you want to shut up? All right. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> Jesus. That's uh, Eric. <laughs> What's the matter, Eric? <clears throat> That's just uh, the interesting parenting style. Yep. <laughs> well, we won't know yet how it works out until later or down the road in life. You no, we, see how we they know. Oh, well. We know. Yeah. I'm pretty confident <laughs> how that's going to work they're, out. They're fine, healthy children. <laughs> you know, Frank. They just don't talk back much. <laughs> later in life, and you, everyone will find this out as you get older, there is one or two or three things which your parents or parent said to you, which is probably terrible, awful, and hurtful, <laughs> which you never, ever forget your entire life. All the other fights go away, but you remember the couple, three atomic bombs they lobbed? Yeah. Frank, I think that's one they're never going to forget. What? I'm going to call foster care and you can go get sexually abused in 20 minutes? Yeah, pretty much that. I think that's one they never really? tell they're all the great. Your son will probably use it on that's his pretty, kids. Exactly. And, you know. That seems pretty weak to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, you know, you're not even mine. That's bad. That's, that's, a, that's, 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 that was that's as bad as it gets. Well, that's just comedy because a mom is going to know. And lying whether... about your dad to the authorities and saying that he abused you, and then that's why you were taken away from your mom and your dad and put in foster care. And then when you went to foster care, unfortunately, you got a foster care family that 
or whoever took care of you that's sexually abused you. And then in order to sort of mask that because he didn't he want to, to deal with that. drink and drugs. To, to numb himself. She won't even talk to him anymore because he's a reminder of her being a bad mother. She'd rather, just, she'd rather just erase Ooh. Eric from her life. So who wins the F My Mom Challenge, Mike or Eric? They're both kind of trying to raise oh, the kid. I think Eric's a no. clear winner for me. For really? me, Eric, really? for Heidi. Oh. What do you say, Frosty? I'm going with Mike. That I'm not even your mother thing is. Is those are hurtful Haven't words. Haven't talked to her for 20 years. That's that's yeah. She's backing it up with action. He still loves her because he talks to his sister to see how mom's doing. Checks in on her. I'm going with Mike. What do you think, Lisa May? I think I'm going with Mike too. Going with Mike. What do you think, Eric? I think Eric. Yeah. Sexual abuse. Come on. What I are got you talking about? foster care. Two perfectly. Eric should stick together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's tough. Should I give it to both of them because they both had horrible moms? If you can, yeah, because I mean, it is like a terrible tie. I, I do have two pages of prizes. I don't know if I have enough <laughs> to give away for everything today. Let's see. <laughs> hmm. You can always do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Tell you what, tell you what, these guys something good. I'll give you both something, Mike and Eric. I'm both. I'm going to send you both to the Orange County Fair oh, with nice. a four pack of tickets, so you can take your effed up families. <laughs> Farm Fresh Fun, now through August 13th. Go out there and throw a deep fried Oreo down your mom's throat. Hopefully she'll choke on it. <laughs> Take that, Mom. <laughs> Delicious death. <laughs> so what a way to go, though. Not bad. <laughs> So they're both going to win. The Sammy, Mike, and Eric. You know, it's, I will say it's a, it's a dead heat tie on F My Mom Challenge. Wow. <sighs> it's tough to beat. Call my mom later. Makes you appreciate the mom you had more, right? We got mm -hmm. we got Joseph who wants to come in for the steal. <laughs> uh, hello, Joseph. Hi. Uh, good morning. Can you beat those two? Um, I think I can. Um, well, when me and my sister were really young, we we're about six, seven years old. Uh, my mom we used to pull in front of Mervin's and tell us to grab stacks of Levi's and run out to the car <laughs> when it's still running. It makes it worse. <laughs> the jeans are stolen from Mervin's. For God's sake! <laughs> what you couldn't find at Marshalls? <laughs> yeah. So, how long uh, was good. your mom the getaway car, and she'd send in you kids to steal different stuff all the time? Well, this one, I was, yeah, this one for months. Yeah. For months, and you finally got busted. Yep, and she uh, blamed us, so she wouldn't have to go to. Well, she was on parole, I guess, and she had to take the rap for her. So she wouldn't go through She was them. like, those damn kids. Oh, I told him not to steal <laughs> jeans. Did she ever, ever admit that it was her fault? Or she stuck with her story the whole time and blamed it on you guys? Well, she blamed it on us all the way. Were the jeans even your size, or were you still your, mo your mom's size? They were just all um, different sizes. Just probably to sell. Because she was selling jeans at, what, at a yard sale? Yeah. I mean, okay. So, um, so, or trading it for something. Joseph, you have a criminal record then, right? Do I? Yeah. Not, not at seven years old. Well, I think that you're a juvenile. <laughs> no, it goes your permanent record. Expunged. <laughs> mm. All right, Joseph, I'm going to give you a prize, too, because your mom sucked. I'm going to see. I'm going to send you to uh, Echo and the Bunny Men and the Violent Femmes at the Pacific Amphitheater, July 29th. Oh, sweet. Thank you. There you go. Hold on, man. But you, tell me, when you go to this concert, I want you to take a picture of yourself wearing mom jeans. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I know it's you. Man. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Stay on hold. Now look at everybody calling up. Now the doors have opened on the bad moms out there. Who knew there were so many horrible mothers? Well, I mean, it's about time you heard some bad things about mothers. I mean, you women want equality, and it seems like you've all been put on a, a pedestal. Like, okay, let the let the this child go with this lady over here because she's just automatically a mother. That doesn't mean you're good because you can be. You have the capability of ha giving a birth to a baby someday. Mm -hmm. No, you might be a horrible mom. I'm still disturbed by Eric over there. The classic. The classic story of, I could have had a career, I could have amounted something, then you kids came along and ruined my life. That's a horrible thing to tell That's your children. That's everyone's life. I know, but don't tell your kids that. <laughs> don't come out and say those words. And those, those hurtful things I mentioned earlier, that's one of the things my dad said to me and my brother and sister. We've never forgotten. He says, you kids came along and ruined my life. Now, he never took those words back. He's an old man, Matt, ready to die, and he's never taken those words because back. Because it's true. Well, I Every kid comes along and ruins their parents' life. I know, but don't tell them that. I know it probably happens. Wait till they realize that when they have their own kids someday. That's what that means. That's code for Mom and Dad But wait till you have your own kids someday, and your dreams are ruined. <laughs> so if they leave that last part off, and you'll realize, oh, that's the secret. That's what they don't mean. Don't have kids. It hurts really bad because you as a kid, you was nothing you could do about it. You didn't do anything by your own choice. Well, they you they didn't have no say on. so. You maybe, had sex. You could avoid having maybe children. Maybe change the behavior you're doing right then if your dad came to the point where he's like, you kids ruined my life. Well, what are you doing at uh, well, the point where he had to say that out loud? Where you made him feel 
Like his life is ruined. Maybe it's oh, your fault. Yeah, but it's something stupid. Like I forgot to clean my bicycle and left it out in the rain and it rusted. And I joined drama club and got the lead. And, <laughs> I mean, horrible things that uh, scar you for life. So it's a culmination of things. But right, yeah. Frosty, it's just so I, I do recall a story where you almost set the kitchen on fire because you lit a trash can yeah, on fire. I mean, he may have said a... it during that moment where he's trying to put the kitchen flames out. Right. You know, it could have been something. Because I was burning the house down at three. That I can understand. <laughs> and maybe that's why you didn't have kids. <laughs> why? Well, I, I could still have them. I could still squeeze a couple out. Yeah, it? sure. <laughs> maybe that's subconsciously why you never had kids. Because be. he said that. Could be. I've never liked little kids. I just, I, I don't like them. Never have. Why? Do you see how they ruin people's lives? They're just annoying. Yeah. They are. If they could be. If they could pop out at like sixteen and be reasonably cool. Okay, yeah, but that right. first decade and a half, you. Yeah. Mm. They need. To, they're, they're noisy and they stink and they're brats and they're expensive and they want to do this and then they need braces and. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, no, you hate deal you, with I it. Hate you. You've ruined my life. <laughs> See, <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly how you felt. <laughs> you should call him and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I would just I would never tell my kids that. I would never say like I'd make the Eric's mom, I could have been a star. I was on track to be something. I was this close to getting this wonderful thing, but then you came along and ruined my life. I would never want that thought in the kid's head cuz guess what? That thought once it's in never goes out. Yeah, I think that you got to say I had, you know, these were my dreams to be a singer, but then you came along and you were the dream I didn't even know I had. Oh, there God. you go. That's how you say you it. You are now my dream. Right. A dream that's And then when they're than... older and have their kids there of their own one day, they're like Oh, mom. <laughs> it's almost worse that she sugarcoated it because she had to tell me how much she hates me. <laughs> a smile on her face. <laughs> Instead of saying, you ruined my life. <clears throat> and then my dad wanted to be a dentist. And then he had, uh, the, my mom got pregnant. My sister had to drop out, work two jobs, driving a bread, bread truck in the morning and working at the hospital at night. So he never got to pursue his dream of being a dentist. But... Now, he, now he's on the island of misfit toys. <laughs> <laughs> and you're missing a tooth. I, mean, <laughs> I want to be a dentist. <laughs> Nothing wrong with driving, my dad. Uh, driving a bread truck. There's a lot of dough in that occupation. <laughs> 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 if everybody has a plan until they have a kid, then your plan is effed. I know. Gone. I know. It must be amazing. That's no, why I'm sucks. the happiest person in this room. <laughs> Look at me, Mr. Glee. <laughs> the rest of you... Children come. Well, Heidi, you don't have children. Oh, yeah. Rub it in. Rub it in. But the rest, you got kids. So, Eric, no, as far as Johnny living the been... dream, Heidi's living the dream way more than you are. I mean, as far well, you travel and stuff. Heidi doesn't travel. She's kind of an agoraphobic weirdo. But it's Angora. I don't like rabbit hair sweaters. Yes, yeah, you, you can't <laughs> catch your knit in one of those sweaters. No, nope. I can't. Freak ah, out. Freaks me out. Anxiety attack. Want, yeah. Panic attack. We should like chloroform her one day and dress her in an like, agora <laughs> sweatsuit, and then she'll wake up. I'll and, lose my mind. And panic attack. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, unlimited income as far as like whatever she wants to get, she gets. See, that's nice. Let's right? buy a Corvette. Let's buy a Corvette. Yeah, let's put it in wine cellars. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I mean, it's almost I help it's almost those. boredom because they don't have kids to spend their money on. But my God, all of your dreams can't come true if you have the financial ability to do that. And so that's what she's living the dream. You never just sit through some stupid ball game you weren't interested in. Your kid sucked playing. Yeah, you your weekends aren't stupid. stolen from you. I do have friends that have kids, and they're like, his finals, if you want to swing by, and we swing by. I mean, we swing by, and I go, you know, watch a game and everything, and then you're like, okay. And then she goes, oh, no, it's not over. Oh, we have <laughs> Double two, header. two birthday parties to go to today <laughs> oh, that I have to them. go shopping for ones in here and ones in here. We've got a runner. I'm like. Then when you're driving home, like, thank God. I do. Thank we- God girls can't get girls pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'd be octomom up in this bitch. one 800 is the number. What's, what's going on with traffic, Lisa? Traffic report is brought to you by McDonald's. On the Harbor Freeway, watch for a traffic cone in the third lane from the left. It's on the southbound side of the 110 at Olympic. If you're on the 110 northbound, that's a busy one now. Starting around Florence up to the 10, the Santa Monica Freeway. On the 91 Freeway westbound, right at Green River Drive, as stall has moved out of the right lanes and uh, off to the right side. But the west 91 is slow from the 15 and the 405 northbound. Northbound getting busy from the 110 all the way up to the 90. Right now at McDonald's, get any size soft drink for only $1. And for only $2, get any small McCafe drink, a small frappe, a shake, or a smoothie for only $2, only at McDonald's. Mmm, I'm loving it. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. That's traffic on 95.5 KLOS. Thank you, Lisa. She's coming in here to give us some more news of the day. In the meantime, since we're talking about kids, it was on this day... 
20 years ago that my daughter was born. Yes, my daughter Cassidy turns 20 years old today. So you celebrate on July 17th. You celebrate with her as well as Jeremiah. He's 30, R&B stud who sings Birthday Sex. Birthday Sex. Hopefully none of that's happening in Italy right now. Mm, <laughs> Italy? Oh, man. Uh, country singer Luke Bryan is 41 years old. He seemed older than that to yeah. me. She was like, oh, my God, this is my song. I've been listening to the radio all night long. Sitting around waiting for it to come on. And here it is. She was like, come Carrie. Hart is 42, the professional motocrosser who's married to Pink, not Corey Hart, who wears his sunglasses oh, at night. Right. <laughs> uh, Alex Winter is 52. Billy S. Preston, Esquire, in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bill is 52. He... <laughs> My God. Oh, wow. 52. He's done nothing since, right? That was like his thing. I think. I don't think. Well, I'm... nothing Oscar worthy since. No, they did uh, Bill and Ted. Bogus Journey. Well, yeah, yeah. And they've been talking about a Bill and Ted movie, a third one, Why for, not? for years now. They're still talking about It'd it. It'd be a hoot. Why it, not at this point? It might happen. Uh, Craig Morgan, country singer and host of the Outdoor Channel series, Craig Morgan All Access Outdoors is 53. Fast tractors, bail liners, and a party barge. Come together like a floating trailer park. Anchored out and getting loud all summer long. It's amazing how country music all sounds different. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing twang, that one. <laughs> and Frosty's favorite guy in the world, Mark Burnett, turns 57. He's the producer behind all of Frosty's favorite shows, like The Apprentice, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, and Survivor. And even Shark Tank, I think. The dude's a genius. Well, he does dude, that, Shark too? Tank? Yeah. Dang. Well, he did Shark Legacy Tank continues. on his list. Married to Roma Downey. I'm touched by an angel. Yeah. There you go. The dude is winning the game of life. For sure. No kids. Say he can do all know, these projects. Team, but no <laughs> children came along. All right, Lisa May, what's going on in the world? Hey, Money on the 20s is back and coming up at 920. The keyword today is Van Eyes. When you hear the cue to call, be caller 20 800 955 KLOS. Know the keyword and you will be qualified. News of the day brought to you by Staples. Martin Landau passed away yesterday, 89 years old. His publicist said he died at UCLA Medical Center due to unexpected complications during a short hospital. Hospitalization, probably best known as the master of disguise role in hand in the TV show Mission Impossible back in the 60s. But he did a lot of movies, won an Oscar for his role as Bella Lugosi in Tim Burton's movie Ed Wood. He was in North by Northwest. Did you know he could have been Mr. Spock on Star Trek? He was offered the role and turned it down. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. His face is way too expressive. Yeah. <laughs> he was in a sci fi thing in the late 70s called Space 1999, where the moon, yeah. they were living in a moon base, and the moon broke away from the Earth, and the moon is is going through space like a spaceship. Oh, wow. Interesting concept that. They're stuck on this traveling moon. I Nobody never thought of that before. Of that, That's huh? why it didn't last very long. <laughs> Three seasons, I think, of this. It so Star work. Trek, right? Three seasons? Yeah, it's pretty much it. Yeah. But it was, it was really good. It's really, really good. He worked uh, right up until the end in New York at the Tribeca Film Festival last spring, where they screened his upcoming movie, The Last Poker Game, with Paul Servino, which I guess has not come out yet. And another Hollywood legend died over the weekend, George A. Romero, the writer and director of Night of the Living Dead, passed away yesterday. The father of modern horror films is what they call him. His production partner said he'd been battling lung cancer and passed away peacefully in his sleep while listening to the score of The Quiet Man, one of his favorite movies with his wife and daughter at his side, 77 years old. Okay, did you guys watch Game of Thrones last night, season premiere? I have it on DVR. Yeah, Don't DVR. ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it, but <laughs> we did hear that Ed Sheeran was going to be in it, and he popped up last night. I watched it, and I didn't know who he was. Eric did they had kill to tell him? me. They run him his throat through with a sword. Not You'll yet. You'll never sing again. We don't know what's going to happen with him. There's a, He's singing in the campfire scene with Arya Stark, and uh, the lyrics of the song are actually lyrics from George R. R. Martin's novel Dance with Dragons. So we don't know. that This scene doesn't really end in the first episode. So we don't know what happens to him. I draw the line if they write in the scene with Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's when it's yeah. the jump in the show. He's not the first musician to make an appearance on Game of Thrones. There have been a, quite a few, actually, including Gary Lightbody, uh, Lightbody rather, of Snow Patrol and Will Champion from Coldplay. Senator Caitlyn Jenner? Maybe. Yeah. maybe. <laughs> she
She said she is considering a run for the Senate. She went to the GOP convention last year and told The View last week she's been meeting with members of the Trump administration to talk about LGBTQ issues. She said she has to figure out if she can do a better job with those issues inside or on the outside as she's doing now. If she does decide to run, she would face Senator Dianne Feinstein, who's up for re-election, although we don't know yet if she's going to run again. Well, she, she was said. on the outside, and now she's on the inside. So uh, That's a good maybe, point, Heidi. Uh, if yeah. she won and then, you know, successful career as a senator and wanted to run for president and wins, hmm. would that be the first female president? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Mm. Technicality there. <laughs> never happened. Take that, Hillary. <laughs> Hillary, you thought it'd be you. It's never happened. Never happened. <laughs> Not in a million years. All right. <laughs> Staples has low prices and everything kids need to head back to school. When your kids have what they need, they'll go back with confidence. Everything they need for less. Staples, it's pro time. And that's news of the day. Oh, Bill from Bill and Ted's Venture was also in Lost Boys. Oh. Okay. I do remember him now as one of the vampires in Kiefer Sutherland's gang. Mm. All right. Um, a couple frank facts for you before we move on. With inflation, the value of a dollar is almost exactly half of what it was in 1989. So in other words, it takes $200 today to buy what it cost $100 to buy back then. In 1989. Good money. Wow. Long ago. Uh, the first five home products that used electricity were the sewing machine, the fan, the tea kettle, the toaster, and the vibrating adult love toy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a group. <laughs> you remember that thing plugged in under your grandpa's chair? His neck massager. Yeah. <laughs> it was, was a, from the Carol Wright catalog. That was a neck massager right next to the tea kettle. <laughs> oh. And it's illegal in France to name a pig Napoleon. <laughs> After all this time. Wow. After all this time. Let it go, France. Still on the books. Let it go. All right, when we come back. There's a woman with a 95-inch blank. That's going for the record, okay? Frosty's got the story for you next. We're Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Coming up on Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, sponsored by Account Temps. Huge drop for Spider-Man at the box office over the weekend. More details at 10 before the hour. If you're sweating your summer deadlines, try Account Temps for highly skilled temporary accounting and finance support when you need it most. Visit AccountTemps.com. Account Temps, a Robert Half company. The KLOS Surf Report is brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. Ford, the best-selling brand in America. Now, the KLOS Surf Report with Surf Junkie Jeff. Waking up the waves on Monday. Boy, you're not going to find much on tap this morning. Yep, most of this stretch of sand has seen some small to fun size surf. Semi-clean out there with some residual south swell and minor northwest energy in the water. Most selling OC beaches are about knee to waist high plus, with the top coma spot seeing some stomach high waves with a few larger sets. 4.30 this morning, tide pushed up to a 3.5 high and then drops to a 1.5 low at 10 later this morning. If you're planning on paddling that spring suit will do you right with that water temp between 67 and 68 degrees i'm sir Junkie jeff combing the coast on the rock of southern california 95.5 klos so we're headed on our annual family road trip and my brakes give out great job dad ruin the whole thing for everybody bummer don't be that guy let pet boys save your summer with wagner premium brake pads and rotors at 25 percent off pet boys everyday low prices and save 50 bucks on any brake service package enjoy more summer with fewer bummers book your appointment now at petboys.com services after meal and rebate restrictions apply qualifying purchases by july 30 2017 see store petboys.com for details attention car owners you know many of you tell me it's hard to find the time to sell your car so you just take the trade-in value without checking out your other options like carstub.com Carstub.com is the new marketplace to sell a car, truck, van, or SUV hassle-free. Carstub.com's convenient service will send a friendly appraiser to your home or office and give you a free, no-obligation offer. You get more than a dealer trade-in price without the hassles of private party sales. Carstub.com makes selling a used vehicle easy, and they do all of the DMV paperwork. And if you need to upgrade to a new car, Carstub.com can help you with that, too. My friend Derek Emery, he's the owner. He's known as Sledgehammer Derek because he will buy any car, even if it's got dead in it. How much cash are you driving? Find out. Call 800-870-1841. That's 800-870-1841. Or submit your car for free at carstub.com. Busy lives need convenience, so that's why you have to visit carstub.com today. When you change your car, you change your luck, and you change your luck at carstub.com. Check them out. Do it today. Dirty cleats, chocolate, juice boxes, that's life. A carpet that resists all that and more? That's Life Proof, only from the Home Depot. It has advanced stain-proof technology woven in to resist whatever life throws at it or on it for years. And a guaranteed low price that covers any budget beautifully. 
Visit homedepot.com slash lifeproof to learn more or visit a store to schedule a measure today. Lifeproof Carpet, only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Yours only. If your go-to pickup line is conventional or synthetic, then CarQuest Auto Parts is for you. If your high school sweetheart was a 67 Mustang, then CarQuest is for you. CarQuest is for those who really know and care about their car. And right now, get five quarts of Mobile One Full Synthetic or Full Synthetic High Mileage and a Pure Later Voss Oil Filter for $29.99. CarQuest is serious auto parts. Limited time while supplies last. See store or advancedautoparts.com for details. If you have hard water, the Lime Scale not only leaves white spots, it clogs pipes and breaks down appliances, costing you hundreds of dollars in energy and wear. Eliminate Lime Scale and other water issues like brown staining, bad odors, and lead with HydroCare water products available from Wave Home Solutions. Wave's affordable systems don't use salts or chemicals. You'll love the way your water tastes, smells, and looks. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, go to goodclearwater.com. That's goodclearwater.com. Napa know-how. The Napa Legend battery does legendary things, like starting your car when the heat index hits a buck 25, or making sure your AC stays running like a gazelle. And now, when you buy a Napa Legend battery, you'll get a prepaid Visa card by mail worth $15. $15 back and a new battery? That's not just legendary. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer expires 731.17. Are you living with depression? Are you having trouble controlling it with your current medication? If you answered yes to both of those questions, you are not alone. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, major depression affects approximately 7% of adults. And the journal Patient Preference and Adherence reports an estimated 10 to 30% of patients with major depression do not respond to typical antidepressant medications. Right now, there's a clinical research study in your area, and you may qualify to participate. The purpose of this study is to determine if an investigational medication given as a nasal spray is safe and effective for patients who have not responded to prior treatment. Those who qualify will receive the study medication, study-related medical exams, and laboratory tests at no cost. Compensation for time and travel may also be available. To find out if you qualify, call the study site at 833-878-8878. That's 833-878-8878. Call now, 833-878-8878. Hey, it's Peter Tilden, and I want to tell you about Flooring Pros. Their selection and prices are definitely going to floor you because they've got beautiful natural hardwoods, laminates, vinyl, and tile, and they can beat the price of the big national advertiser who you see advertised every day by as much as 50%. And they get it done right because they have an enormous selection and everything is in stock. That means you can get a free estimate one day and installation the very next day. So check out FlooringPro.com. They're on Google. They're on that beautiful website, House, And check out their Yelp reviews. They're fantastic. Fantastic. So for the largest selection in the finest hardwoods, environmentally friendly flooring, laminates, exceptionally trained experts, and the best price guaranteed, call the number one flooring company in Los Angeles, FlooringPro.com at 800-815-1565. That's 800-815-1565. Call them for a free estimate or go to FlooringPro.com. Flooring Pro, their prices will flow. There's no secret handshake to get in, but you do need to know the battle cry. So you'll need Dodge Challenger, the most affordable V8 in its class, or Dodge Charger with an available best-in-class 485 horsepower. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Muscle at the Dodge Summer Clearance Event. Based on latest available competitive information and Ward's middle specialty vehicle segmentation, based on Ward's large regular car vehicle segmentation, excludes other FCA US LLC vehicles. Dodge is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. Casino Studios. It's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1. The Frosty, Heidi, and Frank show. Is the KLOS blood drive happening this week? Yes. This week? Yes, yes it is. So if you haven't uh, called up the Red Cross or gone to the website, 95.5 KLOS.com, made your appointment to give some blood. It's the largest media blood drive. It's an association with Red Cross in the country. And one pint of your juice could save three lives. I forgot Thank we were going to donate this week, and I had cheese that. fest over the weekend. You're fine. I had so much cheese. I think just some sludge. I don't like think that'll cancel you out. They'll really? test it. No. You'll be okay. fine. They'll... 
Yeah. All right. I'll donate. I just don't think they can use it now. It's so full of cholesterol. Maybe they can serve your blood on crackers to people who are <laughs> yes. after they get blood. We're trying to get. They used to make a pizza or something. Get their energy back up. But we're all donating. Yes. We are. Stick that vein in and squeeze it out. You like needles, Frosty? I hate them. I can't look at them. Uh, I have to look such a lifesaver. You're going to look past that. I'll do that. I'll look the other way as they poke my arm, but I can't look at the needle. I'd make a terrible druggie. But I'm donating the worthy cause. Yeah. I love needles. I just look at them and watch them go in and do out, you? And in and out, and I share them with people and everything. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. It's a bad thing. <laughs> so can you watch when you donate? But can you watch them sticking the needle in your vein? You actually, can... It does actually doesn't mm-hmm. bother me. It Ugh. doesn't bother me. Uh, my my uh, I, what I'm not crazy about is if they leave the bag of blood too close to your arm, like when you're f- filling it. And you feel it warm you on outside of you. Right. Like, I don't need that. Like, I don't want to look down and see or feel that. Like, oh, well, oh I like... do. I'm like, can I hold my bag like a baby? <laughs> and then it fills up like I'm getting a blood birth right there in my own arms. Uh, it's the life-saving fluid. But it's like, it takes, it's literally, it takes eight minutes. Then and I draw it's a little so face easy. on the bag. I mm. name it and kiss it and give it, give it away. <laughs> <laughs> and you love it a clot. I mean, <laughs> Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. And I make a little T-shirt. I love you, <laughs> Clot. With one little drop of blood with lights on it, and we're playing catch. <laughs> anyway, it's nice because of all the <laughs> horrible things we do during the year. There's some one thing you can do to actually save some yep. lives. It's easy. It makes up for all the bad things you've done. You're a good person doing a good thing. And you get juice Donating and blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you get a cookie later or juice or something. Mm-hmm. There you go. Whose blood would you rather get? 1 800 5567. If you got three bags of blood, you got to get one. Our, our faces are on you. Even oh, I... I'll take Heidi's blood. Yeah, even I don't want mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's in it. Forget it. <laughs> There's not going. enough strainers in the world to strain out that gook. <laughs> and look, for us, you might lose a pound like that. You figure yeah. a pint of blood probably. Weighs a pound. Oh, yes. The weight graph goes down instantly just for my See? donation. And you, don't have to do right. and and you get cookies weight. afterward. Mm. And you put the, weight back, put the weight right back on. Well, you know, I have been trying to watch my weight because the summer is here, I've noticed. And people Bikini wearing, body. It's it's July. It's the middle of July already, for goodness sakes. <laughs> middle I was at the beach yesterday with Where my is? shirt off. Do you have any reservations taking off the shirt? Do you have any? Uh, cause well, you're in no. Shape. I was looking around. Like when you set up on the beach, you look around for uh, guys that look worse than you, <laughs> and then you <laughs> stay, you stay claim next to them. <laughs> you're fine. Just like, wow, I'm the hottie of this section, <laughs> <laughs> but I can't walk that yeah. way because there's a muscle beach down there. Mm-hmm. So by that logic, football. I could have this crowd follow me like Jesus on the Sea of Galilee. Yeah. Because I'm the big guy you want to be next to. So where are skinny. you putting your towel down? We're just waiting on you before we can unpack our stuff here. So where are you throwing that down? <laughs> it's too late. The, look, some of you can understand what I mean when I say this. We, we all made resolu- resolutions January 1st to lose weight. We never really got around to it. Or maybe we started and quit and said, well, we'll start again next month. Well, here it is. The year's half over. So if you're like me, you realize, well, it's too late to get in shape for this summer. Let's try for next summer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the summer of 2018, maybe the shirt will come off. Meantime, what's the point? However, I do feel skinny when I see my photo next to the photo I'm about to show all of you. This is a woman with 95-inch something or others that if she can pack on four and a half more inches on her something or others, she'll have the world record. And she's trying to. A 95-inch... She's 95 inches around something. 95 inches around. The world record is 99 inches around the something. And that's held by a Los Angeles person named Mikel Ruffinelli. 99 inch. World record. Yeah. Um, Circumference. Yeah. Going all the way around like uh, Magellan. I'm going to say, could it could it be her? Belly button? No. Frank, that'd be a huge... How big would you have to be to have a 99 inch circumference belly button? No, not around like the belly button itself. I'm talking about like from the belly button so around. So her waist. That's not the waist. I thought the waist is. Okay, yeah, I guess the waist. The waist is right at your belly You're close, button. but you're a little north. He's north. North. Okay, then I'm going to say. What's south of the waist? Yeah, the measurement south of the waist is the hips. Hips! Photo, please. Here we go. 95 inch hips. Oh my God. That's what she has now. That looks photoshopped. What am I? What? Here's another angle if you need more. Uh, bye. God. <laughs> okay. okay. 
<laughs> I mean, it's like so. Fast. She's as wide as her doorway, and she has to squeeze to get through the door, and it's a wide door. And she's she smiling. Is. She's happy about it. What's well, she going for the world record? Um, why? Wow, she's she's the she's, ultimate mom ass. She's not that. I mean, she's big, but she's not that not, big on top. Oh, okay, as I'm you know saying, I'm she saying? has like that shape. Like she's ultimate mom ass. You yeah. look at the bottom, pair. and you'd think that she is like bed bed ridden. For whatever reason, nature has given her big hips. <laughs> Uh, yeah. She's 42 years old, reasonably attractive, right? You know, she'd be on Biggest Loser or something. She'd be one of these women who'd look pretty I would good. totally I I, lay I my think, towel down at the beach next to her. I don't think she'd be on big, Biggest Loser because I don't think she could do anything. You know what I mean? As far yeah. as, like, getting on a treadmill, I think she's she's at the point. Look at her little feet. <laughs> she's standing in the doorway. Oh, the that's front hilarious. Door. The entire doorway is her. Her feet look like those little nipples on the end of sausages. <laughs> It is a you know, it's probably hard to find a chair she can sit in because there's weight limits. When you're 550 pounds and hips are 95 inches around, how do you sit in the economy coat seat when you fly? Does she even know what her shoes look like? No. no. Frank, she doesn't know what the earth looks like. <laughs> but wow. God love her. She says, you know what? I'm 95 inches around my hips. I'm a whale. I'm going to go for the world record. Why not? I'm four inches away. Yeah, why not? Go for it. So she's trying to pack on more weight. And she does gain it in the hips, she says. Yeah. <laughs> Glad yeah. she told us that. We wouldn't know. She's trying to set the break the world record. She needs four and a half more inches. She'll, four to catch and four and a half to break. Now, who'd you say had the record? Or somebody here in L.A.? Uh, Mikel Ruffellini. It's a Los Angeles woman. I couldn't find a photo oh, of her. I said Mikel. I thought maybe it's a dude. Yeah, it says a woman. Maybe Mikel or Mikel. Or it could be Michael. But anyway, 99 inches. And I feel, you know, I feel bad for people like that because they're clearly one inch away from death. And you're probably usually, usually that size, you're bedridden. But this woman, this other woman, she's spry. She's walking around. I don't know if she's walking around. I think she they, she stood up. Yeah. And she was holding onto the door jam to to hold herself there. I don't know. Kind of looks like she's. Uh... There's no way she's walking around. She's the one that uses that that Walmart cart. Oh, yeah, the other little rascal. The rascal. Uh -huh. Well, there she's standing by herself in front of her easy chair. No, but looks she's, like she's look, falling down. She's grabbing the wall <laughs> as she's like making her way. <laughs> she probably breathes heavy. No, I have to ask. Around. Did she tell she you does. in the story what she eats? Like, you know, I, I just can't stop eating. Yes. It's you mean called, goldfish crackers? She eats everything. For <laughs> it's not goldfish crackers. I know crackers that's Heidi's, Heidi's kryptonite. It's it goldfish is. crackers. It. I didn't have any this weekend. I'm trying to give them up. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Look at her. I know. Heidi, now you're I'm just really few away from being second place. <laughs> Go I don't even record. know. I mean, I, I'm kidding. I don't even know if I could. I think you have to be built that way. Look, I'm built that way. Look at me. My biggest part, I'm like yeah, a buoy. You... I'm like a buoy out there at sea. I mean... My biggest part is my big, huge, massive buttocks. My yeah. hips. That's got to be a massive number. I'm but not you... far behind this woman. Do you think she was like that hot chick in high school that had that kind of big ass on her and big thighs? And you're like, well, you know, she's going to blow up when she gets older. Exactly. But she's probably a cheerleader and she's putting one of the girls on the base. Probably. And, but she has that potential. But then she, her mom shows up at something and you're yeah, like, Yeah, and mm. it's like, oh, man. Date her now, buddy. She's but. the kind of girl that we used to say, be like, well, damn, when she hauls ass, she got to make two trips. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So if you want to hug her, you get a chalk. You're hugging and chalking all the way around. <laughs> Are those stretch pants? Yes. How'd you like to smell those on a hot summer day? Ooh. Now, I can almost the smell them from the picture. She almost looks like, you know when those babies have like a big old fat loaded diaper? <laughs> like in that side picture, she well, looks like she like she's Well, just, that's her. Oh, my God. Look at that thigh. It, and then the thigh and the calf are damn near the same size, and the knee is just somewhere in there. The thighs is, is wider than her shoulders. It's bigger than the tree outside. That's what I'm saying. She looks Photoshopped like there was two different people. Oh, like yeah. her top half, like her teeny, teeny, weeny head, teeny feet. And it's the giant ass and legs. Can I ask you a weird, disgusting question? <laughs> what? About beyond she... smelling her pants? It's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> we all go through our morning routines. Oh, right, right, right. When it's toilet time, how do you find the... There's no way. Because how, how do, do you... you even... How do you... You can't. And you can't clean yourself. Her but how do you even... that long, so... You, you just squat out the window? What I do you do? I think at some point. I mean, that's, that's where... I was going to ask... But I was going about her being a high school cheerleader, and she probably had a big ass back then. Knew she was going to blow up when she got older. And then eventually it just got out of control. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you do go to the bathroom suppose, once a day, supposed to, anyway, that you're going to have that trouble. Once you start having that trouble, isn't that the sign to stop doing whatever you're doing? And, but, you, but you just say, oh, to hell with it. Who? I don't need to wipe. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, do they make weapons for losers? See, Frank's right. At some point, uh, you realize you're leaving the human species and you're going off <laughs> into some other area. I've never seen toilets for the obese. They're all the same size. How? I mean, as far as even your own ability you to can't. reach, you can't. At the, and you can't even get the, the shower nozzle back. You can't do anything. But here's the weirdest thing. You guys ready for this? Because she has some level of fame because she's so big, and this is the woman in second place now, she says she gets all kinds of people contacting her online on social media. Fetish guys? Yes. Oh, my God. She gets offers to marry her. She gets people who she says, she's actually taking them up on it, who have paid her to be crushed by her thighs. What? There's a kinkiness to that, I guess. Between them, well, or so she's just... like you put your head in. She didn't like describe you're... exactly mm. how or where, but we got to get her on the show. She L.A. Uh, she's in Pennsylvania, I believe. But Mikhail she... is in L.A. We yes, got to get Mikhail on the show. What get state's it. next to Pennsylvania? She's also in. I, I, I don't <laughs> know my geography. Ohio, Ohio, to make it <laughs> and parts of West Virginia. <laughs> Crap. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well. We don't know if Mikhail is as good a sport about it as this woman is. No, if you hold the world record, you know. But look what the world record is, Frank. You may not be as proud of it as number two I mean, is. I guess if you're going Don't they it. knock on your door and go, hey, can we measure your, your hips? Your it, neighbors It looks call. like you could be a contender. <laughs> it's possible the winner is even bigger than that, just is too humiliated to have their hips measured. What if you got this beat and you're listening right now? I ain't going to call. You put me on the news. All right, I say I got five bucks. This says we got some woman listening to the show who's got a 60-inch ass. Oh, 60's nothing. It's well, like I mean, a car tire. 30 inches. A car tire? Well, yeah, I'm big, six, car, big tire. Go ahead and measure your asses, ladies, right now. If you got 60 inches calling, I got five bucks. Says we got someone listening to the show with a big 60 inch ass. And what's this lady? Hips 95. 95. Uh, by the way, if you have Easily. Curtains, curtains, I just bought curtains for my rental house. Big long curtains that go from, you know how high a normal curtain rod is, a floor to, yeah, see the, that's about 95, 97 inches. That's the the circumference. Oh, so you take that and you go around. Wrap it around this Jesus. woman's hips, 95. That's, right. you know, curtain length. As we wait for you uh, big ass <laughs> ladies to call in, let's go to uh, Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Uh, yeah. Oh, Melvin's talking about the KLOS blood drive Melvin. this week. And we said, uh, whose blood would you like to have of ours? I choose you, Frank. Why me? Because uh, I feel like we have the closest <clears throat> blood to each other because it's probably used to the amount of alcohol I take. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just want a good cheap buzz. I get it. <laughs> yeah, you want your platelets to be buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin, I'm going to give you a prize. <laughs> that makes sense. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to send you the Pacific Wine and Food Classic on the beach side at the Upper Newport Bay on August 19th. Awesome, man. Thank you. You're going to love that, San Hold. Uh, let's go to Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Good morning, uh, Fr uh, Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. That's us. <laughs> hey, Nancy, whose blood would you like to receive if we all I gave? Take, I would take your blood, Frank, because it's a free, free high. No. The free high. What do people think of me? Huh. Your blood comes pre-juiced. <laughs> all right, Nancy, I'm going to send you to yeah. see John Mayer at the Honda Center. You guys rock. I love you. I pulled over off of Beverly Glen just so I didn't lose connection to talk to you guys. Thanks, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy you're, you're not going to like off. me so well in about 30 you. seconds. Ow. but um, <clears throat> Well, I guess story about Nancy's ass. Well, I was, was going to have you guess the first name of this hip woman. I have a small ass. Do you? Hmm. What I are your do. measurements, Nancy? Uh, well, I wear a size 5 pants. I so, have a 23-inch waist and probably 36. Wow, 36, 23, five pants. Nice. I'm a liar, too. All right, uh, I figured so. Because you sound like a fatty. <laughs> I've never met a thin Nancy. There you go. That was what I was going to ask if you've ever. Stay on, stay on hold, Nancy. We'll give them John Mayer tickets. So this woman, the 42 year old woman with the 95-inch hips going for the world record 99s, I'll give you a choice of four first names. Nancy. Is it Nancy? <laughs> Dang it, that's what I was going to say. Kathy. <laughs> Got it quick. With a K or C? The K. Mm. Bertha or Bobby Joe? Mm. Who sounds the fattest? Kathy, Nancy, Bertha, or Bobby Joe? Think I'm of all the so, fat I'm women you've done. I'm going to say Kathy. Cliche would be Bertha. Bertha, right, yeah. Whoa, that's, that's too obvious, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to go Kathy, but only if it's with a C. Of course it's Bobby Joe. Is it Bobby Joe? Sure is. Bobby Joe Wesley. Oh. <laughs> that's that girl but in the picture. Frank's right. Have you ever really met a thin Kathy or Nancy? No, not no, really. No, never have. If you have, give it time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She must be young. Let's go to uh, Heather. Hello, Heather. Good morning, Frosty, Hattie, and Frank. The KLOS blood drives this week. You going to donate? 
I am going to donate. All right. So I'm an avid donor every 60 days. If wow. we uh, donated our blood and you had to receive a pint, whose blood do you want? I absolutely want your blood, Frank, because my 30th birthday is in two weeks, and I really need some wild in me. <laughs> oh. What? Hmm. Well, can I come to your birthday party? I'll put some wild in you. <laughs> if there was one, I would invite you. I've never celebrated my birthday in like the last nine years. I need to get out and what do are you a Jehovah something. Witness? What is it? What, a Loveland? <laughs> no, my dad was a Jehovah's Witness. I was raised that way. I yeah. definitely will not. I just never celebrate. That mm. sucks. That does suck. Plan to this year, though. It's not because you have this ashy white complexion because you're donating blood every 60 days? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to give you a prize, though. I'm going to give you something for your birthday. Matchbox 20 and Counting Crows at the Forum, July 31st. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys rock. Happy birthday. Way to go, Heather. Heather. Stay on hold. We'll hook you up. Mm. Every uh, 30 days, she's out there six times a year doing it. I'm like, well, as often as you can go, oh, she goes. Wow. We got Brian on the phone. He's met Michaela, the Ooh. girl who currently has the record what? with the 99-inch hips. Let's talk to Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, guys. How's it going? Do you think Michaela would be game to come on the show? Uh, I don't, well, she's very, very nice, and she uh, totally owns up to it. She came into our restaurant the uh, first time, like, maybe five she years ago. she never left. <laughs> <laughs> going for the record. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy because uh, her, her top half is actually pretty uh, normal proportion. It's just her waist is enormous. And the first time she came in, take a, she asked me for a picture with her, and she actually had me sit on one of her hips. Was it like a very comfortable beanbag sort of thing? <laughs> it kind of was. It's, uh, it was a little awkward, but slightly comfortable. I'm you right. haven't seen her for five years, though. Is it possible that she's even larger now than then and she can't get out? Oh, no, that was the first time. I saw her actually oh. about uh, eight months ago. She came into our new location. And, uh, you know, still gets the booth, uh, looks about the same, but, you know, she's actually a very, very nice person. Is it the big round booth in the corner? Table <laughs> yeah, for so one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she has friends. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> they can't fit there. She sits yeah. there by herself. Uh, what uh, restaurant? Go ahead and give yourselves a uh, shameless plug. Uh, sure. Uh, Hamburger Mary's in Long Beach. Hamburger Mary's. Heidi's going to be out at Hamburger Mary's. Yeah, I heard. On the 30th, doing uh, raising money for the Yorkie mm. Rescue. So here's, Colin Balls. here's the weird question. I'm, I'm sure you probably look and see how much she orders and eats. Is she just over there shoveling it in like I do, or is she a dainty eater? Like she goes out and only has a salad. What in the <laughs> hell? Uh, not, a, not a salad, but not like uh, multiple meals. Because I'd be embarrassed if I, I'm overweight. Right. When I go out, you don't see me eating three cheeseburgers. No, I've known you a lot. Of, a I lot have of... a picture of Michaela Frosty. Do you? Oh. I think, Johnny, do you have the same picture? The world record Make sure Johnny holder. finds the same picture to put it up for VIPs. This is the, the world record holder, and she's wearing lingerie. Oh, dear. Oh. What? 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 <laughs> what am I looking what at? What is the front? Is that, Where's, is that real? her? I don't know uh, what that is in the front. She's pretty. She is. She's a very pretty, pretty lady. Um, I mean, yeah, she's. Like, I can see she's small on top. I mean, she's got kind of some hefty biceps too. She's got an itty bitty waist in her. In her and the round thing is, it's definitely in your but face. But what the? All the weight is in the hips, like all of it. Cover well, the those hips. Those are where her legs hand. come together up there at the top, and yeah. you can't see anything. So when she wears her underwear. Well, so what is that? That's oh, just her my. legs coming together. So in the what? Where's her lady part? It's in there. How does she? Somewhere. somewhere. How does she? I gotta go find in it. In there somewhere. <laughs> You know, you can put, how does she, just a bunch of blanks, and put anything in there. How does she fill in the blank? And then and then the bottom, oh the cow, God. the calves down, I don't. And she's a pretty lady. And it's, it's if you good. cover up the midsection with your fingers and you look at the photo, look at the top and, the, and her feet, she's fine. The knees I don't down. think the panties fit. Yeah, they seem like she needed whatever she got go up a size. How do you good luck finding a size 99? <sighs> well, you can go to custom shops and they can make You'd stuff for you. To. They measure you up because, yeah, you go to the... If you are a woman, might might have too much uh, boob on top. You're not going to be able to get those bras at normal, you know, no. retailers. You got to go and get custom bras yeah, made. Yeah, especially if you're custom tiny, lingerie. You're tiny. I've heard they're very expensive. Well, yeah, big people's That's clothes. That's why you end up wearing stuff that looks like a bed sheet because it's cheaper. Right. You can't. Brian, I'm going to give you a prize, and if you want to have Michaela give us a call or get her down here, that'd be awesome. She seems like a sweet woman. Uh, I'm, uh, I can do. Awesome. I'll give you tickets. Let's see what I got for you, man. Uh, how about? 
tickets to see Slaughter and Great White at Sea Legs at the Beach in Huntington Beach, July 30th, okay? Oh, sweet, man. Awesome. There you go, Stan Holt. See, if I were this, the woman with the record, the L.A. woman at 99, and found out this uh, Bobby Joe it's out in Pennsylvania me. is four inches below me, I'd be go. Oh no, you don't. Hello, Krispy Kreme. Yeah, everything, please. You're like I'm keeping. You ain't going to catch me. I got a four inch uh, head start. Uh -huh. Good luck, cow. <laughs> 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 All right, we got uh, William. He's on been on the phone for 18 minutes. He's not calling about our blood or about these ladies with the giant hips. He's calling about his sister who went missing. So this is uh, oh, uh, serious. Hello, William. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's up, man? Guys, all the time. Love you guys. And, uh, a couple of days ago, out of nowhere, for whatever reason, my sister woke up, jumped in the car, took off. Nobody heard from her for a day or two, called the police. The police found her car at the Ontario airport and said that, I guess they tracked it down. She she bought a ticket to Boston, and she's gone. She left. She left her husband for 20 years, her children, whose one of them was the birthday, the 18th birthday, the day before she took off. And nobody's heard from her. So was the eighteen guys, was the eighteen year old uh, the last the the youngest child that she had? No, no, the youngest oh, I was, was thirteen. Eighteen, I'm gone. Right, right. Mm. Uh, youngest is thirteen, and she took. Is, is there a connection to Boston somehow that you know of? None at all. Not that. None that. She's never been out of California. I wonder if she met somebody yeah. online. Oh yeah, Boston. That's what oh, I'm, that's that's probably I'm it. And I'm gonna go there. And... So what do you want us to do? Well, she listens to you guys every day. She she's online listening to you guys. So I'm hoping she's maybe listening and then try and get this message across to call call us know that she's okay, that she's alive. My mom is going hysterical. I mean she's What's thinking, her name, William? She, her name is Jennifer. Okay. All right, Jennifer, uh, give your brother a call and uh, let Just him know let safe. him know you're okay. Even if Jennifer, you went all the way to Boston and you got catfished by somebody and you feel like a fool right now, your family will will forgive or whatever, take you back in and understand. Okay, right, William? Yes, that that's correct. Just at least let them know you're safe, Jennifer. You don't. I mean. Let us know you're safe, Jennifer. Give us a call right now. One eight hundred ninety five 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 six seven is the number. Just call us up, Jennifer, and that way William can hear your voice, and then he can tell mom, and everybody knows you're okay. If you don't want to talk to them directly, you can always talk to us. Hell, we're here. That'd be awesome. That'd and be awesome. The fact it's Boston means it's probably some weird, weird uh, internet thing because you wouldn't normally go to Boston. It's not the paradise people go to. Yeah. It's Boston. That's what I was thinking. You know, I've never been there myself, but I mean, from what I was not there, as friendly as the places. And, and for her to take off, and I, I, I don't know what to say. Her husband is just, he's, he's if, at a loss for words. He don't know what to do. If you go to you Boston, know, and I guess you want your loved ones to join you, that only applies in the springtime. Oh, would you come home to me? First line of the song is please. And she says, never mind. Boy, never mind. <laughs> but, thank you. What, what is this obscure tune? Please come to Boston. Oh, okay. Please come to Boston in springtime. Okay, we'll wait for the joke. When's it coming? In the very beginning of the song. <laughs> oh, you skipped it. You started in the middle. Oh, you started in the middle. All right. Here we go. Here's, here's the punchline, folks. It only makes sense in the springtime that people want you to come to Boston. Please. Boston for the springtime. Oh, my God. It would have been awesome. It would have been. Eric, how dare you ruin oh, Eric, this Scott moment. Smith has slipped. Screwed up another one. Oh, it's all right. But in... It's okay. Come on, Jennifer. It's, it's my fault, not Eric's. I slipped him a note. Said, <laughs> Eric pulled the song. He gave me palms up and the crinkled face like, what the hell? What? What, what? do you want me to do? No, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I said... Uh, all right, William, hopefully Jennifer will call us. Call us up, Jennifer, 1-800-955-KLOS is the number. Let us know that you're okay. Let's take a quick look at traffic in two minutes. What's going on, Lisa May? Traffic report is brought to you by your Southern California Chevy dealers. On the 605 northbound at the 91, there's an accident with a car partially facing sideways in the left two lanes. That's northbound 605 right at the 91. 91 westbound at Green River Drive, there's a wreck involving a car wedged in the back of a semi, so they're waiting for tow trucks. A sick alert's been issued on the 405 southbound at Westminster Boulevard. The carpool and fast lanes are now closed down because of crash involving a motorcycle 
and another car. Traffic on the Southboro 5 is jammed as you come away from the 605 freeway. This summer, visit your Southern California Chevy dealer to experience all the excitement Chevy has to offer. Go for thrilling rides and deals as impressive as the Chevrolet award-winning lineup at the Chevy Summer Drive happening now. Learn more at SoCalChevy.com. That's traffic on 95.5 KLOS. Are you paying too much for auto insurance? Visit AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote and find out how much you could save. Find competitive rates on auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. Have you ever wondered what it's like to have it all? The all-new 2018 Equinox was designed with your needs and wants in mind. It's an amazing vehicle from style and technology to performance and safety. The all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox offers the complete package. I recently was out with Chevy, and I took the Chevy Equinox out on the course, and it really is. It's roomy like an SUV, but it's also really quick and sporty like a sports car. So that's how you know you got it all. The all-new Chevy Equinox. It has everything you need, everything you want from the most awarded car company. They've been that three years in a row. If you're in the market for a new car, I suggest you become part of the Chevy family like I did. Hey, remember the mortgage meltdown of 2008? Have you tried to get a mortgage since then and been turned down? Or maybe you haven't even tried because your credit score is stuck at 585 or your tax returns have too many write-offs. Well, Cash Call Mortgage has great news for you. We've just introduced programs for people who've been told no. And what's doubly exciting is that we can solve your mortgage problems with no closing costs, no points, title, escrow, and no fees. Wait. Cash Call, are you saying you now have credit and income-solving mortgages with no closing costs? Are you kidding? You heard right. A credit or income-solving loan with no closing costs. Call 877-890-CASH and we'll work with you to solve your mortgage issues. Make the cash call at 877-890-CASH. Impact Mortgage Corp. DBA Cash Call Mortgage. Equal housing lender. Call 855-657-9910 for terms and restrictions. California Department of Business Oversight Residential Mortgage Lender Law License 4131083. NMLS 128231. That's 877-890-CASH. Hey, it's Heidi. If you've been arrested for DUI, don't assume you have to plead guilty. Call the law offices of Top Gun DUI defense attorney Miles L. Berman. They know how to fight and win DUI cases in court and with the DMV. Take it from me. Let the team of experienced attorneys at the law offices of Top Gun DUI defense attorney Miles L. Berman represent you. Call 888-4-TOP-GUN. That's 888-4-TOP-GUN. Call 888-4-TOP-GUN because friends don't let friends plead guilty. And now for one of my three all-time favorites. You're locked on Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. On the Rock of Southern California, 95.5 KLOS. Frosty, Heidi, and Frank show coming up in half an hour. We're going to give you that Metallica song to listen for. To qualify for uh, that, Do that Metallica Dodge Charger. It's still sitting outside looking all awesome. Mm -hmm. Did uh, You guys shot a video with that, didn't you, Eric? Is that thing out yet? We did. Is it, it finished? It should come out in the next day or two. So next day or two, you'll be able to see it in all its glory. Oh, yeah. If you're driving that down the road, you will stick out. They'll go, oh, the coolest car in the world is right here. Is that Lars? It's that cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go to 95.5klos.com. Check out the Dodge Charger for more chances to win. But yeah, listen at 8 o'clock. I'll give you that song to listen for at some point today. If you hear it, call in. You get Metallica tickets at the Rose Bowl on the 29th. Uh, you're talking about that uh, heavy set woman. That's the word I was looking for. And uh, yeah. Lay's announces the 10 lucky semifinalists in the latest Do Us a Flavor pro program. Remember that? Like every year you can come up with some flavor. Maybe Lay's will turn it into a reality. One of them is still out on the market. There's biscuits and gravy. I saw at CVS. Really? It's still out? Potato Bis chips, really? Like, biscuits and gravy. I've not tried them, but I saw them I think there. Biscuits and gravy won last year. Uh-huh. All right, here's the 10 finalists. If you guys want to, if you were the official judges at the Lay's company. Okay. Too bad Michaela's not here with us. Love to hear her input. <laughs> See, I'm just picturing the 95-inch hip woman all during this. I'm just, oh, Let's I'm pretend she's here as well okay. and, and imagine what she would vote for. Okay? Mm-hmm. Lay's Sloppy Joe. Sounds intriguing. Would, what would you say, Frosty? Yes or no on oh, Sloppy yeah. Joe? Oh, yeah. I love that. Heidi? Slop, sloppy Joe. No. I think Michaela would go Sloppy Joe. Oh, for sure she would. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, Sloppy mm -hmm. Joe goes to the next round. Okay. Uh, Lay's Crispy Taco. Sure. Yeah, that yeah. actually sounds really good. That's better than Sloppy Joe. Well, if you like barbecue mm. potato chips like I do, then Sloppy Joe and Crispy Taco is right in that same Crispy Taco pocket. doesn't seem a stretch from any nacho. 
Like mm. a Dorito chip is kind of crispy taco. No, no, no. But you get the, ta the taco meat, this taco seasoned meat. That's what the Dorito is, is taco seasoned chip. But this is the whole taco. You probably get a little bit of cheese. You know, you know Doritos were invented at Disneyland? Didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's another reason to go, to pay it's, homage. It's a fact. Huh. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, so taco, okay. So so taco passes to the next round. Lay's wavy spinach artichoke dip. Mm, <laughs> well, no. You know, remember he's... Michaela would say no too. So but no. And Sarah vegetables no. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. too healthy. It's got spinach and artichoke. Yeah, soup. I'll vote for Michaela. <laughs> uh, Lay's kettle cooked smoked gouda and honey. <laughs> that does sound it oddly sounds, delicious. It sounds good, but Michaela smoked gouda and honey. Smoked cheese. Michaela wouldn't honey. like that. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. <laughs> It's not going to top Sloppy Joe's. Come on. Lay's Wavy Fried Green Tomatoes. No. No. no hell awful. no. They're sour. Lay's Nashville Hot Chicken. Ooh, Ooh the yes. kettle is all on top of that. <laughs> okay. It keeps going. Lay's Kettle Cooked Everything Bagel with Cream Cheese. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Michaela would like that. Mmm. Yeah. I really think so. Uh, all right. Lay's Wavy Avocado Toast. No. Damn. Oh, I had that recently. It was awful. Lay's Toasted Raviolis. Uh, Interesting, maybe. Sure. Yeah, I'll good. say yes. Yeah. yeah. And then finally, Lay's bacon wrapped jalapeno popper. Yes. yes. Oh, boy. Bacon, <laughs> bacon, bacon and anything. So, yeah. Those are the finalists. We'll see exactly. I guess you win. Of those, boy, that's tough. I still go with Sloppy Joe, though. Sloppy Joe chips? Mmm. Semi finalists each received $10,000 in prize money. The two runner up finalists will receive $50,000. How did, how did all And the grand prize winner will take home a $1 million check. All you had to do was come up with a, one of these. A, a, a title. How did fried green tomatoes and avocado toast even make it that far that you're talking about? I'd be like, no. What they, else you got? They probably felt the need to put the obligatory healthy entry or two in there, you know, for vegetarians I or guess. whatever. I've never had avocado toast. So you basically you take toast. And then you spread avocado like butter on it. Yeah, but you it, the the avocado and usually you, it's mixed with maybe like a little bit of lemon or something. You mix it up and make it. So basically, like it's paste. guacamole on toast. Yeah, it's uh, it's not. It's need some bacon in there. Fine. Stuff. It's, bacon it's in. a little bland, honestly. So, Ugh. There's that. I'm starving. Thank you, Frank. I know. It's too early for potato chips. It's not too early for booze news. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's too Time to learn about booze news. Time to learn about booze news. Really? Time potato, to learn about booze afternoon news. Food. Now let's take a shot. I know you love wine, Heidi. Mm-hmm. Too Would much. you drink a bottle of wine that was, uh, let's see, 221 years old? If it was kept properly. Not if it's, well, I found this in the back of my grandpa's old Vega. It's been in barn. It's in the back seat. Then probably not. So it's baked in the summer sun no. for a few decades now. But if it's been cellared, so wine say. can stay that long. It doesn't. I mean, doesn't eventually at all go to vinegar at some point. That's what I heard. Uh, like, I don't know wine that well, but I heard. If, even if you have high. a nice bottle of wine, you bet. At some point, you better drink it. Yeah. Don't wait on that great day to happen or special occasion because it will go bad, it's and then a, you wasted your money. It's not like whiskey. Whiskey and those fine liqueur, liquors like that, they you could be like a sixteen twenty seven bottle yeah. worth a million bucks because it gets more mellow. It's better with age, yeah, but not well, wine, well, right? Wine's, well, wine, well, age like a fine wine is supposed to. Remember, I had, I had some. I don't drink, drink wine, but people give me a bottle of wine every Christmas for the holidays. And after twenty years, I had twenty bottles of wine up on top of my house. You have so many close friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't mean, even know. People buy me bottles of wine all the time. I don't drink it. You'd rather have a six pack of beer. Anyway, then there was that. Uh, the the power went out for about a week out where I live a few years ago. Oh right, it was one of those 110 degree weeks. It's over. So it all went to vinegar, oh. right? Well, yeah, it all went bad. I gave it all to Goodwill because like I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> there were some homeless people very happy about that. All of our FHF shot glasses have like gunk in them. I washed mine. I'll, I knew I'll you were up to something the gunk today. Oh, no, you washed I washed mine today. I knew you'd. All right, I have. There we go. I have. I found one clean one, and then and, and this mine. One. So <laughs> they must have found this old wine. Yeah, they did. A museum at a New Jersey university knocked down a uh, Prohibition-era wall and made a shocking discovery. A stash of wine bottles up to 221 years old. It was at the Liberty Hall Museum at Keene University in Union. said they knew there was a wine cellar behind the wall, but they had no idea of what they would find when they tore down the plywood and plaster. Oh. Uh, wine? Uh, yeah. You knew there was a wine cellar behind the wall. <laughs> Geraldo, I'll come in this one. Otherwise, it's just an empty room. Good detective work there, pal. <laughs>
Yeah, they were doing some renovation project. The officials said they found three unopened wooden boxes that contained more than 50 bottles of Madeira wine, whatever that is. But it's still not going to be kept at temperature. If it was a cellar, though. Yeah, it's just behind a wall. Mm. And they, they built the wall because it was prohibition, so people yeah. would know it's back there. But it's probably, gone probably wasn't chilled. Yeah, yeah probably wasn't at a perfect fifty six. What's the what's the perfect temperature for well, your? Uh, I mean, red wine. I like it at fifty five. I mean, you have a wine cellar, Heidi. So from closet wine cellars. Mm-hmm. Best. It's my prized possession. That's but why what? I would never want to sell that house. Do you have a thermostat on it? What do you keep wine? At? Fifty. I keep my red at fifty five. Fifty five degrees, mm-hmm. and that's the perfect temp. Mm-hmm. How many bottles do you have in there in your wine cellar? She has two. I have two. She has dueling wine so cellars, which is pretty kick ass. Eighty in each one. So I like 160 you. bottles at I've all never times? liked you more, Heidi, in I... this very moment in time. Where do, you... do, do, do you see it? <laughs> and I amazing. donated the chandelier. The place is awesome. Yeah. The clo- it's my prized possession room. If I, I like I would have no problem selling that house, but that room That was my gift to Heidi, that chandelier to really tie it all together. <laughs> <laughs> It does, right, doesn't the it? The chandelier was doesn't in his garage, he wasn't even using no, it. No, it was like, this wonderful doing? chandelier that I had, and I was like, I don't have my house, it's not this thing does not work in my house. Totally works in that room, right? It's beautiful, yeah. Brought it all together. I, uh, you gave her a chandelier. I mean, for Christmas, uh, you gave uh, me a, a, a rusty chandelier. <laughs> it's, it's really what it Sounds is. Like I gave her a rusty yeah, chandelier. I mean, it had to be Look it up on Urban Dictionary. It, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I accepted it. What a sicko am I? Did you refurbish it? I thought it was nice. Well, you know, it had it had to have some. Oh, a couple stuff, of the stems. Well, those were the all candle stems. Like, the paper. Yeah, they were. I had them yeah. waxed out. I had them waxed well, out. Yeah, it's what, how, whatever. <laughs> well, you ruined it. You waxed out your <laughs> dirty God. chandelier? That I mean, sounds it really nice. Pink. I made it. It was sitting in his garage. It needed some TLC. I see small bottles there. I mean, I would try it, but I don't know. It's all bad. Have a sip. It might be amazing. Who knows? Yeah. Well, if they don't open it, it's, it's worth lots of money because it's a collector bottle, right? A lot of these old collector bottles, you don't drink. You just keep, you know, like old coins. So you don't spin. Yeah, I got to drink. Just just pat- put, yeah, just put it on display, display and it. never open it. Uh, also, Could you do that with a bottle of whiskey that you would just never, ever drink? It's sitting there. You, well, no, because whiskey never... wouldn't go bad. But I eventually have... you want to ha- you want to be like, I got to crack it open. I, I have to. That. Remember my story, the Napog Castle 1955? No, that stuff sucked. <gasps> it tasted like Diesel's ass. It wasn't all that great, was it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was it old? <laughs> it was supposed to be, according to the whiskey critics, oh. the best whiskey in the world. And there are only like 400 bottles left that and were you known. you bought one. Yeah, I did. And It'd be like if you found an old school bus in a junkyard, old diesel school bus, and there was still something left in the carburetor, and you drank it. It was $1,600. Yeah. Oh. But see, you it just don't awful. have a taste We cracked it up. We, we, I didn't intend to drink it, but we were, we were over, and we were drinking, and said, hey, I got that nut bog. Let's see what this stuff does. We drank it. It wasn't all that good. Somebody likes that taste, though. Because no, I've I gone to see... scotch tastings where people are like, mm, no, and I'm no. like, Ugh. It's just this too bad. I mean, it's, it not, like... it's not Malort bad, but it's bad. Okay. Did I tell you about a replacement bottle? Why would you do that if it was awful? Because I still wanted one. So two of the 400 known to earth I've had. And by the way, we finished that bottle on our last show on KLS X, that mm-hmm. other station. That was the bottle we were drinking from oh, on our I final had that. show. That was the Nopog? You had that. I yeah. thought that was good. See, it wasn't awful. We were wasted by the time we cracked <laughs> well, that bottle open. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was that. That's in, that ended up in Tom Likas' studio, and he finished it off, I guess. So that's where that one of those bottles ended up. So I bought a replacement bottle. No, he probably kept it until everyone he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. So I've got another bottle. Maybe we can crack it open he, here yeah, someday. Really? Because I thought that was the bottle that we got so drunk that you forgot it and left it there, and then it, it disappeared of all the bottles, the yeah, $1,600 I, bottle. I just thought we'd do a couple well, shots you know, and go home it. with me, but then we got so trashed that I'd left it there and it oh, ended up frosty. with the next show. No, we have one more booze news story before we drink our shot. Um, Haagen-Dazs, Canada, mixes alcohol and ice cream with new line of spirits flavors. Alcohol and ice cream. Oh, my God, Frosty. mm. This is so... You're a big booze, you're big ice cream, Heidi. This is hot. This is boozy ice cream. I I don't like that. I don't like mixing those worlds at all. I really Really? don't. Really? The beer float and all that. Irish coffee ice cream? And pe... Oh, my God. Yes, please. doesn't sound bad. Please. But like when people are like, oh, we've got this wine Vodka, ice cream. Vodka, key lime, pie, ice cream. Oh, it's like a kamikaze. I'm ready to float. <laughs> I'm ready to just float out in the air and seek now one. Now we're fat and drunk. I mean, what the hell? What's changed? <laughs> <laughs> just another Monday. Rum-infused ice cream, chunks of vanilla, caramel okay. ripple. Oh, on a hot summer day, out in the backyard, yeah, but then you sipping eat that, that yeah, smooth you whiskey and rich chocolate truffle. Yeah, hot oh summer God. day. You know, eat that fast because you're hot yeah, you and then you're kind of, It's almost like a shake. I think you let it like get kind of kind of like ginger a, cookie yeah. premium rum. 
ice cream. Mm. Mm. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Dang it. <laughs> I had a new flavor of ice cream. Did not have any booze in it. Sorry, but fireball ice cream be good. It would. Speaking of that, fire on his shot. We just learned about booze news. We just learned about booze news. We just learned about booze news. Let's take one more shot. And that was a fireball. Uh, thanks, Glickman, for bringing that in. <laughs> it's almost new, gone. New York shop. Well, the show's early. New York shop is offering a, an ice cream with a topping. It's not booze, but it's something else. Johnny's got a photo to show all of you VIPs watching online. A topping we wouldn't expect. No, but people say it's great. They love it. It adds a bit of a crunch to it. It's not cream. What is it? Uh, onion strings. <laughs> no good guess, though. <laughs> like, I mean, green bean casserole ice yeah. cream. Ugh. Who knows? It might be good. No. No, no. No. I'll a give crunchy you a hint. topping. I'll give you a hint if is you Is it a it. cereal? Breakfast cereal? Nope, it's not. Is it bacon bits? No. Good That'd guess, be but kick ass, though. No. A little sweet and savory. What happens when I tell a joke? Croutons? That, that, no. What happens when uh, I tell a joke that goes nowhere? Bombs. There's bombs on top what of the ice cream. <laughs> bombs, bombs. Not bombs. Crickets. <laughs> Crickets. <Yeah. laughs> Crickets, grasshoppers, and other insects. Yes, insect ice cream, my friends. Mm. Well, I'd have to have the ice cream to eat insects. Keep in mind, they are crunchy, and some people say there's, there's, well, there's protein. Well, like if they're done right, I had them over at, um, at San Monica Airport Typhoon Restaurant. And they're done. If you would close your eyes or not, you know, you're just like, oh, it's a, it tastes like a potato chip because they're crunchy and they're just salty. Just eat potato chips. Well, I know, but, but it's, it and might they, be. And you they know, come good. the antenna and eyeballs and the whole thing. Like they don't even disguise them. They're just on a plate. Well, mix it up in ice cream. You don't see it. Yeah, but they serve it on top. Grind them up and put them in little cricket cubes. I guess. So uh, they look like a crouton. Uh, <laughs> I wonder. You know that the health department has to give you like an A, B, C rating, and you put it in the window. What do you get if there's crickets and bugs and grasshoppers on the actual food product? <laughs> Does that lower you to a, a C instantly? Yeah, the health inspector goes mad. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> and then you were explaining, no, they're clean crickets. What? <laughs> anyway, there you go. But like you said, in the future, that's probably going to be our food supply. So test them now. There's plenty crickets. of insects. Right. See, we're also uppity here in Los Angeles. But if you're in some starving part of the country where there's little protein things hopping around your backyard every night, yeah. you go out there and catch them and make some stew. You wouldn't admit it. Yeah. In other news, I couldn't eat them alive though. I would. Have I mentioned to kill the wine her. found in the wall. You said there was there's a, a something that was found in brand new cars. Yes, there was. If you bought a Ford Fusion lately, which I did. Did you? Yes, that's did my daughter's know? car. I bought her a Ford Fusion, new. <gasps> Frank, you could, you could go out there today when you get home and take a box cutter and and rip up the seats. Oh. Yeah, just do that. Okay, it is her birthday. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a chance. Is it a lease? I mean, you might be rich. If you bought a brand new Ford Fusion lately, yeah, you may have drugs in the seats. <laughs> we got some photos here to show you as well. There we go. Authorities to say there are millions and millions of dollars have been found in the seats of Ford Fusions. Now, keep in mind the Ford Fusion is put together in Mexico. Uh, Ford American Company, but they assemble them down there, and whoever the drug cartels, that's how they've been, they're sneaking their drugs up, millions and millions of dollars in the seats of smart. Ford Fusions, seats and door panels. What kind of drugs? Dope, that weed. That looks like weed, I yeah. think I'd smell that. Weed. They say one car can hold about a million dollars of weed. That's how they actually were onto it, because they noticed on a hot summer day, so what, the cars the wrong, like weed. The wrong Ford guy got the shipment, like he's waiting on, you know, the, the shipment's coming, and the wrong Ford guy got it, like... Because if the right guy gets it, he's going to go ahead and cut them open, get it out. Put Obviously, in. it's when they come crated. It's like this crate is going to this particular dealership, and then somebody in Where the service department or whatever has the you know has the connection with the guy who's going to see the car first. And they found it in different takes parts. The seats out, replaces the seats. All different parts of the country, Ohio and other places, Pennsylvania, I guess. In the East so they family. got scattered everywhere instead of going to the one guy. Yeah, they did. <laughs> dither oh. and fro. You know you want to cut those seats open. Oh, now. <laughs> so good. Let's just go home today and we'll videotape. We'll Facebook Live it. A million dollars of weed nope, in your no car. No weed. Sorry. Dang it. <laughs> So be honest, if you uh, cut open your Ford Fusion cushions and found a million dollars of marijuana, would you call the authorities or have one hell of a party? <laughs> oh, I'd call my upholstery guy. <laughs> Sky's the limit. I got, got a couple of tears in my seats. Yeah, I don't know how it happened. I mean, what kind of idiot would drive it back to Ford and go, could you take this car back with a million dollars of weed in the door panels and seats? I don't want it now. I don't want this million dollars of drugs. God. I think I'd take it to uh, what the San Vegas has a shortage right now. 
Oh, that's right. Double right, your money. Here you go, dispensary. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now you're getting greedy, though. What? I can turn this a million into a million five. I go to Vegas. <laughs> they need it. They're desperate Take your million. I'll put it all party. on green. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa May, what's going on in traffic? Traffic report is being brought to you by Southern California BMW Centers on the 405 southbound at Westminster Boulevard. Sig alert still in effect. The carpool lane remains closed down because of an earlier crash. Traffic is backed up from the 605 freeway and now in the backup. Getting word of a crash, South 405 at Studebaker. Looks like the carpool and the left three lanes are blocked. That is the initial report. On the 605 freeway northbound at the 91, a crash has moved out of the left three lanes. Traffic recovering from Delamo Boulevard. Southbound on the 605, right? at the 10. It's a two-car wreck in the carpool and fast lane. Uh, check that. It looks like it is, yeah, that's South 605 at the 10. And then on the 710 northbound, getting word of a wreck at Washington Boulevard in the left two lanes with a big backup all the way to Florence. And on the southbound 57, right before Orange Thorpe, that is a stall in the carpool lane. For limited time, lease the 2017 BMW X1 S Drive 28i Special Edition for as low as $329 a month. See a Southern California BMW Center today for details Details or visit SoCalBMW.com. That's traffic on 95.5 KLOS. Are you paying too much for auto insurance? Visit AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote and find out how much you could save. Find competitive rates on auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. Do you know absolutely nothing about the stock market? Well, good. That means you're the perfect student for Online Trading Academy. They're a brick-and-mortar school right here. In Southern California, they started over 20 years ago, and now they're so good at what they do. They've expanded to 40 campuses around the globe, and you can be a part of it all. Maybe you're thinking, why do I need to learn this stuff? Well, for starters, do you really want to be chained to your paycheck? Wouldn't it be nice if you had a skill set to make money on your own and not totally rely on that 9-to-5 job that you may not like that much? And again, you don't need to know anything about the stock market. Online Trading Academy wants to teach you. You can learn at your own pace. Start trading just a few hours a week on your smartphone or laptop, and they have an amazing community of people who will support you every step of the way. Do what I did. Call my friends. They're at Online Trading Academy. They have a patented course strategy that will help you learn to follow what Wall Street is doing and how to profit along with them. Whether the market goes up or down, how do they do it? You're going to find out. They're offering a free Wall Street Insider Kit so you can get started right away. Just call this number, 888-991-TRADE. You're going to get two online classes, instructional videos, and a guide that will help you learn to build that second income. And they're even going to throw in two free tickets to an upcoming workshop. So bring a friend along and learn how to make money. 888-991-TRADE. Hello? Hi, Don. I'm a helpful Southern California Honda person, and I'm calling to give you a random act of helpfulness. This is awesome. We heard your nephew wants to go to basketball camp. He's in sixth grade, and he's six foot three. Other little kids would pick on him and call him names and stuff. So we took him out of school. In homeschooling, you don't get interaction with other kids, and he really missed that. Mm -hmm. So he really wanted to go to a basketball summer camp, but we can't afford it. Well, Honda would like to help. We're going to send your nephew to camp. Oh, my God, yay! And get him a new pair of basketball shoes. <laughs> basketball shoes! Thank you so much. I, I just didn't think this was real. <laughs> Today, we helped a good kid follow his dreams. And during the Honda Summerbration sales event, we can help you with a great deal. Because right now, we're clearing out the 2017s, like the Civic, the best-selling car in California. Visit SoCalHondaDealers.com to find the helpful Honda dealer near you. Don is a real person and was paid to be on the radio. Based on IHS Market California new retail vehicle registrations for year-to-date April 2017. It's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. On the Rock of Southern California, 95.5 KLOS. Frosty, Heidi, and Frank show coming up in 11 minutes. I'm going to give you the Metallica song to listen for throughout the day. When you hear it, uh, be caller 25 at 1-800-955-5567. You can take us to go see Metallica at the Rose Bowl, and you'll be in the running to win the, the Dodge Charger, the Metallica Dodge, Dodge Charger that's so kick-ass. Mm. And right after news, I'll tell you what the man showed up at the Colorado Hospital carrying a trash bag full of... Snakes. Oh. I'll <laughs> well, you just see. I'll give you a choice. See if you can guess what was in his bag. <laughs> pancakes. You're jumping ahead, honey. Pan oh, yeah, pancakes and snakes. See, you already said B and D. Come on now. You haven't even heard the choices yet, but I guarantee it. Are you suggesting I'm predictable? <laughs> All right, before we get to Lisa's news, the birthdays of today, July 17th. If you celebrate your birthday today, you celebrate with my daughter Cassidy. She turns 20 years old today. The little girl I introduced you all to when I got introduced to her at five years old. Oh. Said, yeah, I got a call, and it was on April Fool's Day, Lisa. Oh, my God. Nobody believed it, but it was true, and that little girl has turned 20 years old today. So, love you, babe. Happy birthday. 
Now, how do you say this woman's name? I've heard Angela and Angela. Merkel. Angela. Angela Merkel. Is it Angela? Angela. Yeah, because yeah, she's German. She's yeah. German. Yeah. Angela Merkel, a German chancellor, is 63 years old today. David Hasselhoff. 70, maybe? 65. Oh, oh how dare you? Oh. You're hassling <laughs> the Hoff on his birthday. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> uh, Terry Geezer Butler, basis for Black Sabbath, is 68. Parker Bowles, Prince Charles gets that every single night, is 70. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah. oh. Donald Sutherland, President Snow in the Hunger Games movies. He's a great actor, but a mediocre reproducer. Uh, he's, 82. <laughs> <laughs> he's 82 years old, Donna, wow. Donald Sutherland. And Phyllis Diller is dead. Yeah, yeah I, I was so. going to yeah, say. Yeah, she, she died back in 2012. <laughs> All right. Uh, no Phyllis Diller. Come on, Heidi. Well, I was going to, and then I and I thought, well, she's dead, so it would be weird to laugh here. No, go ahead. It's been fun. That's my Phyllis Diller. That was your thing? That's your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I you, copied Phyllis Diller. Hers real, been on realize, longer. Hers yeah. been on ah, 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 ah. Well, it's mine. Yeah. Well, it's so yeah. confusing. Mm. If you're a Phyllis Diller fan, you'll love Heidi. Oh, my God. <laughs> totally, totally, uh, totally, Tomorrow's National Tattoo Day. You're celebrating. A... He celebrates every day. Anybody, anybody get the new one? Anybody thinking about getting the new one? I mean, my sisters was... are getting one. My little sister's in town with uh, my nieces, uh, Sophia and Ellie. And uh, she said she found, like, an, a letter from Mom that said, I love you. And oh. so she's getting in my mom's handwriting. Like oh. back when you used to write letters, and so her and my sister are getting my mother's "I love you" in her oh, handwriting. No, no, on no, them. no, they're still grieving, Frank. It's very sad. Yes, they're still the grieving. The rest of your life, you look at I'm your still arm grieving. And you're, you're always going to grieve your mom, no you, matter what year it is. But you don't put her coffin on your arm every time you look at your arm. You're grieving. It's no, sense. no, it's it's support. It's I know like it's, them, it's, it's a reminder she's still, that she's, yep, yep, she's still a, there. It's a reminder she's dead. <laughs> But she had fantastic handwriting. Because they're going to forget sometimes. Yeah, I thought she was saying? alive. <laughs> oh, my God, she's dead. The, look at her once you put the Twin Towers next to it, never forget. Oh, Every time you get your arm, it's like you have pain. That's what I'm saying. Enough about her breasts. I mean, those Twin oh. Towers. I mean, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> Sandy wasn't known for her breasts. She was, she was known for her ass. She probably... She, yeah, she was a big ass lady. I thought you said once when you walked in on her and she was like... <laughs> Every mom j shakes them things into their bra every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been getting out of the bra. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember what it was. You don't it's, usually it's, shake it's, out. You she, shake had, she had on a slip. It was weird. Why don't they put that on the arm? Your mom in a bra shaking her... Oh, I'm going to get that tattoo on this forearm. There My mom's go. shaking her boobies into her bra. That's what you need. More positive. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, and today is also World Emoji Day. What does it mean exactly? What I, are you I don't to do? know. Is there an emoji for who cares? <laughs> yeah, it's this one. This guy. <laughs> the smirk. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, Lisa. What else is going on in the world? Money on the 20 is coming up at 920. If you did not hear earlier, the keyword is Van Eyes. When you hear the cue to call, be caller 20 at 800-955-KLOS. Know the keyword and you will be qualified. News of the day brought to you by LKQ Pick Your Part. I'm going to tell you right now, you are going to love the Subaru Pet of the Day. Three years old. His name is Scout. Oh, oh that's, that's a cute a good dog. One. He looks like a dog that should be in show business. Yeah, he's yeah. a Disney dog. Mm, that's he's a cute adorable. one. Adorable, and he hates cats. So now you really love yeah. him, right? <laughs> and he's had his teeth whitened. <laughs> he is like a perfect dog. Yeah, I love that. He scruffy. seems to have all his teeth too, which yeah. is impressive. Why has no one adopted this dog already? Yeah, what's the story behind this dog? Story. Why is the dog at the shelter? I don't know. Scout. Does he have yeah. murderous tendencies or no, something? I don't His think owner so. probably died. Yeah. That oh. happens a lot. That does yeah. There's nobody to take it in the will. Check him out online. We have a picture of him, 955KLOS.com. His name is Scout. You will want him. If I didn't have five, I would take him. I, I love know. scruffy terriers. It's adorable. Just take him. Uh, dog number six. Much. That's what you need. She just wanted to be a hoarder. Right yeah. yeah, right. Too late. Subaru <laughs> Pet of the Day brought to you by the all-new 2017 Subaru Impreza. It's more than a car. It's a Subaru. By the way, if you adopt a dog, you have to keep the name or can you no, change it? No, you can change it. Change it. Sure. Does it have to be something similar? Well, Scout's a great dog name. It is. Yeah, but I like Gout. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs>
But I wouldn't go from like scout to Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. That's not, you <laughs> know, you wouldn't recognize. About your feet. Where do you get gout? The feet or the neck? I think you can get it anywhere. You can get it at the finger. Well, that's room like I think it's in the feet. Yeah. Yeah. Gout in your feet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. That's next hour, Frank. Where do you get I'm gout? I'm thinking the goiter. Right? The goiter is oh. the neck. That's the neck. Yeah. A police standoff that went on for hours in Seal Beach overnight ended this morning with the discovery of two bodies. This started last night around 7.20. A woman called police and asked for help, and then the line went dead. So police showed up at this apartment complex where the call came from, and several neighbors said that they had heard three gunshots. This apartment building's on 7th Street near Central Avenue, again in Seal Beach, and res residents along 6th, 7th, and 8th were all put on lockdown. They didn't know if there was just some guy running around with a gun. They didn't know. One resident of the apartment apartment building says after she heard the gunshots, a man came down from the floor above shaking and crying and said that he lived next door to an off-duty cop who had his girlfriend over and that he heard her yell, no, don't do this, and then three gunshots. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they finally went in this morning and they found, they found two, two bodies. Two bodies. Oh, so it's uh, murder-suicide? Theoretically, the cop and his girlfriend. Now, police aren't saying that, hmm. um, so I'm sure they'll say more later, but... That's what happened this morning in Seal Beach. If you saw the cops and the helicopters and everything. And that is News of the Day brought to you by LKQ Pick Your Part. At LKQ Pick Your Part, you'll find millions of parts with hundreds of cars to choose from. Visit LKQPickYourPart.com for more info. If you want to see Metallica at the Rose Bowl on July 29th and you want to drive around town in a 2017 KLOS Metallica Dodger. Dodge Char Dodger Charger. Dodge Charger. <laughs> I'm going to give you the song to listen for. At some point today on KLOS, Metallica song. If you hear that, gotta be caller 25, 1 800 555 Give you that song next. Well, there's a guy in Colorado who showed up at the emergency room claiming he was in severe pain and wanted medical treatment. Over his shoulder, they noticed he was carrying one of those big, huge black trash bags that had something inside it with a little bit of weight. So as they started treating the guy, they put that aside and eventually looked in it. Guess what was inside the trash bag he took with him to the emergency room? Heads. A. I'll give you a choice of five. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. A. Two decomposing fetuses. Oh, dear. Isn't the plural of fetus feti uh, or fetipus? Go with, go with oh, no, we're running out of time. Get to B. Uh, B. <laughs> bag full of Nickelback CDs. <laughs> C. His manure. <clears throat> D. Weed. Or E. Snakes. <laughs> All right, find out what the guy had in his bag when we come back. We're Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Coming up on Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, brought to you by Account Temps. On Doctor Who, the next doctor is going to be a woman. More details at 10 before the hour. Demand for top talent is high. Let Account Temps help you find highly skilled temporary accounting and finance professionals who can hit the ground running. Visit AccountTemps.com. Account Temps, a Robert Half company. Attention, car owners. Is that you? You know, many of you tell me it's hard to find the time to sell your car, so you just simply take the trade-in value without checking out your other options like carstub.com. Don't do that. Do what I've been telling you to do. Go to carstub.com. They're the new marketplace to sell your car, your truck, your van, your SUV, whatever you got going on. Absolutely hassle-free. Carstub.com's convenient service will send a friendly appraiser to your home or your office, wherever you are, to give you a free, no-obligation offer, and you get more than a dealer trade-in price without the hassles of private party sales. Carstub.com is going to make selling a used vehicle easy, and they do all of the DMV paperwork. And if you need to upgrade to a new car, Carstub.com can help you with that, too. Call my friend Derek Emery. He's the owner. He's been in the car buying game a long time. He's known in the biz as Sledgehammer Derek because he will buy any car, even if it's got dents in it. He doesn't care. How much cash are you driving around? Find out. 800-870-1841. Just call that number. 800-870-1841. Or submit your car for free at carstub.com. Busy lives need convenience. That's why you need carstub.com today. Now, the KLOS Surf Report with Surf Junkie Jeff. Waking up the waves on Monday. Boy, you're not going to find much on tap this morning. Yep, most of this stretch of sand has seen some small, the fun size surf. Semi clean out there with some residual south swell and minor northwest energy in the water. Most LA OC beaches are about knee to waist high plus, with the top coma spot seeing some stomach high waves with a few larger sets. 4 30 this morning, tide pushed up to a 3.5 high and then drops to a 1.5 low at 10 later this morning. If you're planning on paddling, that spring suit will do you right with that water temp between 67 and 68 degrees. I'm Surf Junkie Jeff, combing the coast on the rock of southern california 95.5 klos the blues everyone gets them but depression isn't just a feeling of sadness it can affect the way you see the world your body may constantly feel fatigued and your mind may dwell on thoughts of worthlessness and guilt 
If you've had a case of the blues for too long and it's causing you to lose interest in the things you love, please listen carefully. Those feelings of hopelessness or pessimism, insomnia or difficulty concentrating may be symptoms of clinical depression. CNS is currently seeking participants for a depression clinical research study. You may be qualified if you're diagnosed with depression, currently take antidepressants, and are 18 years or older. Investigational medication and clinic visits are at no cost to qualifying participants, and compensation may be available for time and travel. To learn more, contact CNS today at 844-714-7474 or visit them on the web at cnstrial.com slash depression. That's 844-714-7474. CNS, searching for a cure together. 844-714-7474. Hi, this is Bo Bachman from Galpin Ford. As you may have heard, Galpin's summer sales event has been dialed up to 11. The Galpin 11,000. In fact, we just sold our 5,000 vehicle towards our goal of selling 11,000 vehicles this summer. So we are making incredible deals on the largest inventory of new Fords in America. Right now and only at Galpin Ford, included with the purchase or lease of any new Ford, receive oil and filter changes for two years. In addition, you can get 0% APR financing for 72 months plus a $1,000 rebate on many new Fords and make no payments for 90 days. And we are so confident that you're going to get your best deal at Galpin that if you come to Galpin first and then buy a comparably equipped Ford elsewhere, we will give you $500 in cash. Please join us during the Galpin 11,000 sale going on now. Call 1-800-GO-GALPIN or visit galpin.com. Out approved credit 1667 per thousand borrowed. Down payment of all based on credit approval. Max of four oil changes. Sale in 731-2017. It's buzzing at McDonald's. Buzzing with families all sharing happy moments together. That family celebrating their son's promotion. That table, the new city champs. Woohoo! Every moment deserves a celebration. That's why there's something for everyone. Like chicken McNuggets made with 100% white meat for mom. Or world famous fries that dad loves so much. Happy meals that bring smiles to the kids' faces and a vanilla cone for a sweet treat. Their son just found out he's getting a sister. Ram 1500 does more than stand the test of time. It stands up to anything you throw at it or in it because of its active level four corner air suspension. This summer, check out America's longest lasting pickups at the Ram Summer Clearance Event. Available feature based on IHS Automotive VIO registration data for all brands of GBW 1 to 3 pickup trucks continuously sold in the U.S. since 1988. Dodge and Ram have the highest overall percentage still on the road. Ram is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. If you have a Lowe's Advantage card, you can get an extra 5% off every day on items big or small. So you can save an extra 5% on a new coat of paint, updating appliances, replacing the flooring, and even save an extra 5% on little things like cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, and air filters. The big to-dos to the everyday essentials. You get an extra 5% savings every day when you use your Lowe's Advantage card. If you don't have one, apply today. All projects have a starting point. Start with Lowe's. Subject to credit approval and can't be combined with any other credit offer. Exclusions apply. See store for details. U.S. only. Staples knows that when your printer jams more than it prints, it's time. When your paper supply is in desperate need of resupply, it's time. When the only printer in your office that's not out of ink is three flights up, it's definitely time. And it's times like these when pros turn to Staples. Staples has great prices on everything you need to print. And now, buy one HP ink, get the second 30% off. Staples. It's pro time. N72217. See store or staples.com for details. Restrictions may apply. Hi, AbsoluteLawyer.com. Settlement news. 1.5 million for bicyclists struck by a limo suffering serious ankle injury. Robert Koenig, Esquire results may vary, no guarantee. What does the E in the all new BMW 530e i performance stand for? Efficient. Its plug in hybrid powertrain allows you to power your drive using all gas, all electric, or an intelligent combination of both. Exhilarating. E Boost provides an instant acceleration that can get you ahead of the crowd. Engaging. For the ability to upload directions, will precondition the cabin climate remotely from your phone. But it's truly the combination of sleek looks, powerful performance, and an array of innovative features that makes the E in the BMW 530e nothing short of extraordinary. Head to your local BMW center and experience the extraordinary in a BMW 530e i performance. 
BMW, the ultimate driving machine. The BMW 530e iPerformance is now eligible for single occupant HOV lane access and a $1,500 CVRP rebate. Visit SoCalBMW.com. From the Morongo Casino Studios, it's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1. What does the guy have in his sack? Well, thank you, <laughs> black trash bag. Now, keep in mind, weed is legal for recreational use in Colorado, like it'll be here on January 1st. So this is where we're headed. What do you suppose it was? Well, you kind of gave it away. I know, I did, didn't I? You really did. I screwed that up. You totally screwed it up. Yeah. Actually, no, the weed story is the second story. It has oh, nothing okay. to do with this one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Erase, erase. So this guy showed up at the... <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we just want to get right to it. God. Anyway, so the guy showed up at the ER holding a trash bag full of something. Was it A, decomposing fetuses, B, Nickelback CDs, C, his manure, D... Weed or e snakes? Do you still call your own your uh, manure? I, I thought it's a hospital term. It no, is? no, no, it's not. I thought <laughs> feces my man- is a hospital manure term. is a is a hoofing animal's poop. Human? No, no, we don't. You don't call that manure. That's it's a you polite sp- word. No, you don't spread human human feces. You well, spread manure. It's manure is a, a word for fertilizer poop. Oh, so once it's used as a fertilizer, then it becomes that. Well, you can cross that one off, can't you? <laughs> Nickelback CDs, anyone? No. I guess I'll go with weed. I'm going to go with weed, too. I don't Dude. know why. Why in the hell would you guys say that? It's snakes, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's weed. Right. Bag of weed. Two pounds of weed. In a ba- Carrying it around with him. Two pounds it of it. It doesn't even look like good weed. In a trash honest. bag. Well, in stems. the picture, you have the cops wearing rubber gloves, but they're putting it in smaller bags. They're planning on selling it? No, they had to, to put it in the evidence room. They oh, had to sure. In the, that's what they said. Yeah, we found uh, about to... Just put the whole big bag in the evidence room. Don't put it in individual bags. But yeah. normally, they don't find two pounds of weed in a trash bag. They have these pre-marked little weed bags mm. they normally use measured, for evidence. Probably. So they are like going... Yeah, I also wondered. They really, really put this in the evidence room? You really think? They're going into business. Hmm. Can you tell by this... Picture is it good weed? Can you that's tell not good. Weed. I was gonna say I, I don't even that, know that much about weed, but that, that looks like manure. That looks it's like dirt. bad weed. Looks like dirt weed. A lot of stems. Mm-hmm. Brown nasty. doesn't look fresh. I wouldn't smoke that. It's dry. Give it to me for free. How'd that's you guys how ever really guess it was up. weed? Oh. You used to smoke just anything. You're really growing up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you're young. And now you're I only smoke the best stuff when people give it to me for free, <laughs> and it better be good, or I'll. Call you out on the air. But yep. you've uh, you've matured. You've matured. Uh, when you're young and in college, <laughs> two pizzas for five bucks to your dorm, I'll take whatever it is. I'll eat it. Yep. If you're going to hand me weed for free, it better be the best of the best. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't embarrass yourself. Yeah, don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't want to smoke anything anymore. <laughs> He's more Hell, refined. I got a 20-year-old. Yeah. She'll smoke anything. But, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Where is your kid now? She's somewhere in Europe. In Italy, yeah. In Italy, you know what part? God. Um, I can't remember the name of the place. I'm jealous of that. But uh, yeah, she went to uh, England and then uh, Belgium, mm. and then uh, Switzerland, and then uh, Italy. Just wandering she's around. Going to Germany, and she'd be in France, Spain, back to England, and then flying back. And she's 20 years old. Yep, living the dream. Frank, when I was 20 years old, that's what I did. I did it for the whole summer. I saw 16, I hope she turns six, out like you. 16 countries in 30 days. Or 60 days. A 50-year-old virgin. Highlight of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Changed my life forever. Guy can dream. <laughs> oh, I got a public service announcement. Uh, they call themselves Ruthless Riders, a motorcycle club seen here in Southern California on the freeways. And according to the CHP, a biker stood on his seat. Oh, God. Hands free on the 15 freeway in Corona on Sunday morning and fell. Mm. And he later died at Corona Regional Medical Center. Uh, been confirmed, 28 year old Leslie Elliott was the biker killed. Friends say a group from the Inland Empire in Orange County were heading towards the Ortega Highway when Elliott went down. He was wearing a helmet. A web search of the hashtag Ruthless Riders shows motorcyclists performing dangerous stunts like standing on the seat and driving on public roads. The CHP says a group of 20 to 30 bikers recently slowed traffic on the freeways so their buddies could perform stunts. 
Uh, bikers could face felony charges if they cause a major accident. One of the motorists says they are too brave, and they think they are kings of the road, and they think they can do whatever. Oh, yeah, we need to watch out for them, but at the same time, they need to watch out for us. And that's what I'm saying in this uh, announcement. I am a, a, a biker. I, I, got, I own four motorcycles. I, every weekend I'm out there. I'm a Top Rocker Harley-Davidson all the time. And I encourage people to go to Top Rocker and buy a motorcycle. But I also encourage people to ride responsibly. And I know you guys are having fun. And you could uh, find places to do all your tricks and have fun. You don't need to be doing that on the freeway. And you sure as hell don't want to uh, have uh, motorists turn on, on bikers like uh, they turned on uh, like bicyclists in that, in that situation. Because we all know bicyclists are assholes. So <laughs> let's be smart out there. And that's my message. <laughs> Hear, hear. Not all, of course. No, all. No. Mm. Oh. <laughs> all right, folks, what you got? Oh, the Metallica song. Yeah, if you're listening for the Metallica song, uh, listen to between 10.30 and 11 a.m. today, so uh, right after the show, for the song Enter Sandman. When you hear mm. that song being played, raise a big middle finger in the air and then call 1-800-955-KLOS. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to see Metallica at the Rose Bowl on July 29th. Plus, you're going to be running for that new KLOS Metallica Dodge Charger. If you want uh, more information, go to 955KLOS.com. Check out that Charger and uh, more chances to win. Brought to you by Dodge Charger. Don't just try the lane, own it with the 2017 Dodge Charger. There you go. There you Which have. I had there that Charger. Mm. Is that what I said? No. Charge Charger. That's what I always say. Is that what I said? That's what I always say. That's what you always say? Thank you. You oh, get it by. You, I screw it up. You. Uh, well, since you did that very, very uh, nice public service announcement, I would like to add mine to it as well. Parents, go ahead and spy on your kids, teenagers. Make sure you know, wait. I'm qualifying this now. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know what they're looking at online. Of course. I you have that. to. And if you see them looking at anything that has the words blue whale in it, or if you see their arms suddenly are carved with the outline of a whale, we have photos here to show you. What the hell? The blue whale challenge. Have you heard about this? No. It's making the rounds among teenagers where they get a list of 50 challenges they do throughout the day. Many of them are harmful, including cutting themselves. One of them is, in fact, cutting the outline of a whale into their arm. Like a big, little, huge, long 10 inches of a big, huge jumping whale thing. Anyway, guess what step 50 is? There's 50 challenges. Guess what? What, what number is whale? I don't know what number it is, but it's in there somewhere. This is to identify I'm trying to yourself. think what's worse than whale. I mean, how close are we to the end? Okay. Uh, the, the 50 challenge yeah. is... They're all encouraging you to, to do these these terrible things, hurt yourself in in small ways, large ways, do bad things. Do they all involve whales? No, they don't. Oh, okay. But as soon as you carve the whale into your arm, you're an official member of the Blue Whale Online Blue Whale Challenge Club. If you see a whale carved into your kid's arm, take them to a shrink, lock them up, because step 50 is kill yourself. Suicide. What? But at least they're not a bicyclist. <laughs> We have at least one death so far, possibly two. What? I don't Will understand. Will you broadcast your own suicide? That's the, to complete the Blue Whale Challenge. Wait, the very last one's kill yourself? Just kill yourself online. One kid did it already. They think second, possibly. Yes. And if you've gone this far, see, the further you go, the more you mutilate yourself, the more you do these bad challenges, the badder you are. Is this considered cool? Is this the cool group? Or is this some weird off group like goths? It's, it's kind of like that, or but it's, it's teenagers whose whole life is online and want, they want the support of other people in their group, so to speak. But this is a worldwide thing that's taken off just in recent days. The Blue Whale Challenge is, in fact, the Blue Whale Suicide Game. I wish you had all 50 so we'd know how, how it starts so they could oh, see the signs way before. Because if, if the Blue Whale is number 49, kind of late to catch your kid doing that stuff. I know. I don't know. It just says, well, some of them are, some of them are very minor. One of the first ones is watch horror films. So what, you have to document that you did that? Yeah, so they're all kind of disturbing things. Watch horror films, uh, set something on fire, make a mess, mutilate yourself, carve the whale on your arm. But again, the last one is kill yourself online and let us watch. Oh, live online. Yeah, you, Facebook Live your death. Oh, yeah, that Facebook Live. Is At least one kid has done it, and they think possibly a, a second one they're thinking as well. So there you go, Blue Whale oh. Challenge, Blue Whale Suicide Game. Now, if you got a kid and you never see what they're looking at online, what they're doing, 
Hey, how come you get a whale on your arm? Oh, it's just what all the kids do. No, time to spy on them. Any kid who's starving for attention, obviously, their parents not paying attention anyway. So you really think that they're going to give a damn or notice the kid's got a whale on his arm? Because this is a starving for attention. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, to the point where I'm going to kill myself live on Facebook, on internet, so you, everyone can watch it. Then the attention you're getting, you can't even you got the list, you Eric? enjoy because you're oh, gone. Oh, good. I have all 50 tasks. Oh, good. I figured. Uh, carve a specific phrase on a person's own hand or arm. I guess that would be the blue whale itself. Wake up at 4.20 a.m. and watch a scary video that the guy who created the list sends you. So you have to wake up at 4.20 and watch this video. We could do that one. Yeah. <laughs> Just that one. And seven days later, you die. Mm. Make what lengthwise cuts on the, the person's own arm. The, so yeah. if you if before the whale comes, there's going to be lengthwise you cuts on Please rephrase that. <laughs> Was it a sperm whale? <laughs> Write yes on the person's own leg if ready to become a whale. See? So if you see yes written on their own leg. Uh... There's a secret task written in code, and you've got to decode it and do that task. They don't say what that task is. It's a secret. Write a status online about being a whale. So if your kid is posting, I am a whale, I would like to become a whale, uh, overcome a fear, carve a whale, there's the whale, watch scary videos all day for an entire day. This is so dumb. Uh, listen to the music that the person who created the list sends you. Did we have anything like this growing up? No. Was this like listening to Led Zeppelin backwards? I mean, was this what no, we that had? Was just, that was just one thing. This escalates into a whole society of people doing the same thing and then killing themselves. There was the nothing end. like this for no, us. No. There really? wasn't. I mean, no. like chain ma- mail, like pass this, uh, pass this along or you're going to have bad luck for seven days. Chain or mail? You remember that, like... The, those to, stupid Facebook things. You'd have to send that along, but back in our day, it was on paper, on you know, handwritten on paper. But the chain mail was annoying. This well, is yeah. like people are proud to be part of this group. They can finally relate to people like them. That we're our own little society, like Frank mentioned the God thing. This is like, yeah, we're proud to be part of this. But at the end, you die. Well, uh, well, well, whatever. Anyway, I'm fine with it. Well. 49 steps of it, or what? If, if this is where you're into the direction you're going and you have the list like eric found the list like that and you see the list of things to do in the very end of suicide and you still do it hey hurts a little thick isn't it <sighs> if you're going to do the whole list yeah then fine fine with it so it's i'm fine with it nature. your parents don't give a damn about you i don't give a damn about you so it's bad parenting and natural selection. Pretty much. That's okay. what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, there is a how would you not notice if you've got your kid like well, in a... At the very end, you have to eat this turd. Well, I'm not eating a turd. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. <laughs> See, but that's just a horrible list. If you can't decide it's a horrible list based on the end being suicide, well, then good and for you. And it's not even one of those things where you don't Go know what the it. final thing is until you get something. there. You know, it, everyone, it, a whole right you're sharing there. it. Yeah, everyone knows what you're doing. Yeah. So, so everyone knows that you're on the path to killing yourself. In the end. And people are Everyone's headed to the same watching. destination. The peer pressure we had was doing what? Smoking weed. Letting yeah. you go on my shirt, that kind of letting, thing. Letting, which was worthless because Heidi was had nipple might, on rib. You might as well go up my back and feel my, you know, massage Seriously. my shoulder blades. <laughs> exactly. Had, yeah, more action on her back. That's true. I squeezed my shoulder blades together. I got a little cleavage. I'm like, yeah, it's the can. <laughs> she got a couple zits on her shoulder blades. You thought you were getting <laughs> third base. Or no, second base, anyway, not third base. Well, the base is but Her back was hairy, so too. You didn't know idea where you were on Heidi. You. Mm-hmm. <laughs> could do all the bases yeah, the just pe- one swoop. We had peer pressure. That's what this is, okay? Oh, this is way beyond that, Frank. You got to go to this, got to go to this. No, you, this group is pressuring you to do the next, then the next. And if you won't do the very last yeah. one, then you're, you're you're the ultimate pussy. Oh, come on. Peer pressure used to be like, okay, let's skip school today and, you know, right. say There you go. Okay, but no one died at the end of the day. That's what I'm saying. No. We weren't that stupid. We were trying to skip school. Let's get in trouble. Let's steal something. You, all, you never well, wanted to die. What's wrong let's with climb the water tower? And, and that's fine. I don't want to use the words kids these days because it makes you sound old and dated. But what the hell's wrong with blank, blank, blank these days? In that, <laughs> yeah. you can, if you want to join this stupid blue whale online challenge, you can look and see what's ahead. You're going to mutilate your arm. You're yeah, going to carve like up yourself. it's not like and you're going through these. I have no sympathy for the dumb. Jump off a building at the end and we all watch your brain. I really spl- don't. <laughs> no sympathy for the dumb. Frank, these are kids. Yeah, dumb kids, dumb they, adults. I, they, I have no sympathy for dumb. Are they but depressed dumb dog, kids? Dumb cat? Or are they just like, oh, I want to be a part of something? 
And like you said, you pulled up the list right now. It's not like I'm doing these tasks to see where it's leading me, and on the 50th one, I find out that, and it's like, whoa, what? That's no, what they're being manipulated by grown-ups who are, quote-unquote, whales telling them what to do. And if you want to be like me, you'll follow this list. But the adults aren't following the list themselves. They're making these kids do it. So what's that mean? Dumb. How do we know they're It's kid- like the how Nazis. Do we, how do we know they're adults d- telling them what to do, sending the videos? Because they're the curators, Heidi. They create the how list for the kids. How do you know it's an adult? Kids. If you know where it it's coming from, they can't just first be arrested this, for accomplice or uh, well, accessory to murder. They can't find everything online. It's like uh, the, well, Eric the, seems to know everything. But he's a terrorist. <laughs> he is part of his terrorist chatter network. He knows everything. Oh. Let's go to Blake. Hello, Blake. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing this what's morning? Up, man? Hey, so I was just calling the agreeing with the thin in the herd thing. I mean, things in life don't really need a warning label, you know? But they all do, and that's why you see those stupid warning labels on the top of uh, ladders and, you know, don't eat this knife. Yeah. Because people are stupid, and I have no sympathy for the stupid. People need protection. Eat that knife, stupid. I'm for protecting yeah, it, the stupid from yeah. hurting themselves. I'm not at all. Well, I am. Use why? this hair dryer in the shower, stupid. Thank you, Blake. Why? Why would you? <laughs> it's Okay, if, if, if you want to use the top ladder and get on the top ladder, which I've done, Fine, go ahead and do it. But you need to put the warning label up to remind you you're probably going to fall off a break. Because you have no, you, otherwise you thought there was no chance of gravity pulling you off that. And it's not, it's not, you don't feel how wobbly it is. It's okay, a reminder. maybe I shouldn't be on this step. A reminder. It's a reminder when you get up there next last step. Ooh, I don't want to step on this knot. The warning label has a picture of you falling off and broken neck. Ooh, God. Well, and I, think Bill, I don't want those people procreating. But companies do that just to protect themselves. They don't really care about us. They just don't want a lawsuit. Okay, it's lawyers. But in this case, we're talking teenagers. Young. And I wouldn't reward the dumb either. I don't reward more the dumb for smoking cigarettes. Go, I thought I was healthy. <laughs> have Shut you seen up, whole throat? Have you seen the the warnings <laughs> on packs of cigarettes they have in, in Europe? Maybe your daughter bring one back. They got pictures of, you know, people with their black lungs and holes in their throat mm-hmm. and dead fetuses. I mean, they show and you And it the, doesn't stop people. But it's a warning yeah. to, to go, okay, look at this. Are you sure you want to do this? These are depressed teenagers, Frank. They're not just going to the room and listening to Goth and crying themselves to sleep. They're looking for ways to share their misery, and those people sharing the misery saying, you we're all in the same bad boat together. We're on Titanic. Let's kill ourselves. Look at all the attention we're giving them now. That's the thing. I think if you're truly depressed, you don't do this stuff. This is more of a tension thing. I think if you're truly depressed... You're probably in your room, and you just go. The person who takes all the pills then calls the the nine one one. Like, do they really want to do it? I think no, this group of people you really don't. want to so. be a part of something. Well, yeah, but those people are seeking help. These aren't. They're doing the bad things. Then just go seek help. But these, there's no well, help. you got to put a big, big drama scene for us all. If Charles Manson were out and not in prison, this is what he would do to have more victims these days. He'd be one of the curators. He's a smart, evil guy who would pers- persuade young people to just cut the... Or the guy b- who said drink the Kool-Aid. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Like Jim that. Jones. Yes, exactly. You think... The David Koresh says, let's just set the whole place on fire and let's all burn ourselves in here. So Waco and Guyana, that's thinning the herd and that's good with you? I think so. Really? <laughs> yep, I do. If they're there willingly, it's they're hard They're there to willingly. Argue. It's well, like, so let's like put on our Nike shoes. We're all going to Space Planet. Okay. <laughs> there were children there who weren't there willingly. There were Most were adults, but there were kids there who were taken there by their parents. But the parents that were there willingly and weren't insane, you think, okay, drink the Kool-Aid, die, or... Who's there willingly that's not insane? They're all insane. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, put these Nike tennis shoes on. They're misguided yeah. sometimes. They're I'm to- not I'm tossed, that's the only shot I've ever tossed over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. This See brainwashing doesn't mean you're crazy. And I have 90 pairs of Nikes on eBay right now. one 800 5567 is the number you care to comment. Uh, Lisa wants to comment on traffic. What's going on, Lisa? Traffic report is brought to you by Southern California Edison. Pretty busy out there. A new sig alert's been issued. It's the connector from the one two, uh, westbound 210 to the westbound 118. The number two lane of that transition closed until about 745. Earlier sig alert in Orange County cleared South 405 at Westminster Boulevard. But in the back of two separate problems, South 405 at Seal Beach Boulevard, a metal pole reported between the right two lanes. Lanes, and then South 405 at Studebaker, there's an accident still clearing out of lanes. South 605 at Ramona, injury crash in the left lane. And on the 101, the Hollywood Freeway northbound at the 170, look for a crash in the middle lane. This update brought to you by Southern California Edison. They want you to keep uh, stay safe around electricity. If released, metallic balloons can cause power outages and safety hazards. Always make sure they're securely tied down. That's traffic on 95.5 KLOS. 
Are you hiring? Join the over 3 million businesses that use Indeed.com for hiring. Post your next job opening on the world's number one job site, Indeed.com. All right, have you ever wondered, what's it like to have it all? Well, I got the answer for you, and it's the all-new 2018 Equinox. It was designed with your needs and wants in mind, all of them. From style and technology to performance and safety, the all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox offers the complete package. The all-new Chevy Equinox, and I'm telling you right now, I drove it about a month ago out on the course with Chevy, and it has everything you need to do everything you want from the most awarded car company three years in a row i am a very proud member of the chevy family and if you're in the market for a new crossover check out chevy do it today the biggest heavy metal festival to hit north america ever oz fest featuring ozzy osbourne prophets of rage and deftones meets not fest featuring rob zombie marilyn manson and stone sour saturday november 4th and sunday november 5th at the Glen helen amphitheater and festival grounds multiple festival stages and attractions with 40 bands performing get tickets now for tickets vip and camping go to ozfest.com or notfest.com Sandman Well presents the new Rockin' Casino. We're changing the game with over 500 of the newest slot machines. And that means Sandman Well now offers over 4,700 slots, the most in California. The thrill just keeps on coming, so you'd better be ready to rock and discover a whole new kind of rush at our brand new hurricane bar, Tropical Storm. Come out and experience the new Rockin' Casino only at Sandman Well. All thrill. Must be 21 or older to enter casino. Please gamble responsibly. 1 800 Gambler. This is Lee and tweeting when you need to know what's going on, what's going on? count on 790 kbc am that's a great idea we have news weather and traffic 24 7 and personalities like dr drew mike catherwood and jillian barbary for insight news is always breaking on 790 kbc am You've got to try Happy Hour at El Torito. Experience their amazing food and drink specials for four, five, and six dollars. They've got tacos, garlic fries, carnitas sliders, and spicy queso dip. Everything is made from scratch daily. That's right, from scratch daily. You can wash it all down with El Torito's signature margaritas and a full lineup of cold draft beer. The best happy hour in town starts at 3 p.m. every day, even on weekends. Experience Happy Hour at El Torito. We know Mexican. The sound of refreshing, sparkling water. Mmm. The sound of discovering new flavors. 7-Eleven is the best place to taste it all. Stop by today for the bold new strawberry flavored or new watermelon flavored Perrier sparkling water. Zero calories, zero sweeteners, natural flavors. Grab two half liter bottles for $2.50. Refreshing, sparkling water. Delicious flavors. Mmm. And a great deal at participating 7-Eleven stores. Ends 829-17. Restrictions apply. At AT AT&T, we believe that access to affordable home internet brings incredible opportunities. Explore a digital world of possibilities and connect with family, friends, and the things that matter most. That's why there's access from AT&T. If you are a California resident and a member of your household participates in SNAP or receives SSI benefits, you may qualify for home internet at a discounted rate of $10 a month. No commitment, no deposit, no installation fee. Plus, get an in-home Wi-Fi gateway at no extra cost. Call 1-855-220-5211 or visit att.com slash aware to learn more. SNAP refers to the Federal Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SSI refers to the Federal Supplemental Security Income Program. Pricing excludes taxes and fees. Service will include a monthly data allowance depending on the type and speed of service you receive. If you exceed your monthly data plan allowance, you will be automatically charged $10 for each 50 gigabytes of data usage in excess of your data plan, even if less than 50 gigabytes is used. For details about data allowances, go to att.com slash internet dash usage Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi enabled device required. Other restrictions apply. It's time for John Stamos' Spectacular Life Tips, brought to you by Spectrum. Tip number seven. Hosting a party? Make sure you've got enough bandwidth with Spectrum Internet. That way guests can share, post, and stream instantly, reminding the friends that didn't show up just how spectacular you really are. Start living the spectacular life with Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV with stunning HD, plus thousands of titles free on demand. Just $29.99 a month. Call 844-371-2999. Then, enjoy enough speed for all your devices with 100 megabit Spectrum Internet. With no data caps and a free modem. Just $29.99 a month. And get unlimited nationwide calling, plus unlimited calling to Canada, Mexico, and more with Spectrum Voice. Don't wait. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice for just $29.99 a month each when bundled, with no contracts and our 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 844-371-2999. 
Get Spectrum and be spectacular, like me. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Hey, remember the mortgage meltdown of 2008? Have you tried to get a mortgage since then and been turned down? Or maybe you haven't even tried because your credit score is stuck at 585 or your tax returns have too many write-offs. Well, Cash Call Mortgage has great news for you. We've just introduced programs for people who've been told no. And what's doubly exciting is that we can solve your mortgage problems with no closing costs, no points, title, escrow, and no fees. Wait. Cash Call, are you saying you now have credit and income solving mortgages with no closing costs? Are you kidding? You heard right. A credit or income solving loan with no closing costs. Call 877-890-CASH and we'll work with you to solve your mortgage issues. Make the cash call at 877-890-CASH. Impact Mortgage Corp. DBA Cash Call Mortgage. Equal housing lender. Call 855-657-9910 for terms and restrictions. California Department of Business Oversight Residential Mortgage Lender Law License 4131083. NMLS 128231. That's 877-890-CASH. Is this the Oasis pool? I think I left my custom beach towel there. It's the one with my face on it. Your top reasons to visit Morongo. Enjoy a world of flavors at Potrero Canyon Buffet. Number two. Oh, you can eat crab and shrimp Wednesday and Thursday in the buffet. And the number one reason to go to Morongo Casino Resort and Spa this week. You'll also love the lobster and steak buffet on Fridays and Saturdays. Morongo, good times. iAccidentLawyer.com scores again $700,000 for a passenger in a car hit by a tow truck suffers injury. iAccidentLawyer is the way to go. Call Robert Koenig, Esquire, results may vary, no guarantee. This day in Rock 1972, a Rolling Stones equipment truck was bombed in Montreal. Although nobody was hurt and the bomber was never caught, the blast did blow up 30 speakers stored inside. Del Taco never makes you choose between authentic flavors and fast service. For limited time, tender braised carnitas are back at Del Taco. Get two carnita combo burritos loaded with shredded pork for five bucks. Slow braised carnitas serve fast. That's unfreshing believable. Price and participation may vary. This Day in Rock brought to you by Del Taco. It's Frosty, Frosty Heidi, and Frank on the Rock of Southern California. 95.5 KLOS. Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, I'm just doing as a public service, bringing this to your attention. If you have teenage kids or little kids, if you see them poking around online, Facebook, or anything else, Instagram, you seem to do anything that has the words blue whale in it. The blue whale challenge is, in fact, a game, a challenge, where these people, these kids online, teenagers, in a social media support group, will do various tasks, many of which in, involve mutilating yourselves, hurting yourselves in some way, doing bad things, watching scary movies. Mm -hmm. And then step 50 is you commit suicide on live, live. I don't ask. And we got at least one death, possibly two so far. And if you see anything with blue whale your kids are into, time to talk to your kids. It ain't going to turn out good. All right, let's go to uh, Chris on line two. Hey, Chris. Hey, good morning, Frank. How are you? I'm good. Good. You know, I don't want to beat up on Frosty because, you know, I love all you guys, quite frankly. But, you know, to give this story, uh, you know, to shine a spotlight on it, it's like it's like legitimizing, you know, this like this pathetic attempt. I mean, 50 steps to suicide. I mean, give me a break. Did you know about no. this before I talked about it? No, well, that's no, my Frosty. Now you do. I'm not going ad hominem on you here, but this is just a story Ooh. that's it's only going to make more young people susceptible to it. Or it kind of legitimizes it. Or I mean, it might be, or it might be simply informing you parents about something you didn't know about. Now you know about what to look out for for the welfare of your children. I'm keeping the parents abreast of the latest bad thing kids are doing online. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm a I'm a member of the Cetacean Society. I happen to like whales. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, I think this is a really bad rap for the blue whale. I mean, my yeah, God. It, it does hey, suck for him. In the words of Milton John, don't shoot me. I'm on the, the piano player. I know that, man. It's not personal. It's not. But, I mean, this is this is a story that lives for attention. That's what they're trying right. to get. And then you gave it right? the attention. Thank, the, thank you so yeah. much, Chris. Thank you so much. Only the young knew about this until it is broken now for us adults. Now that us adults know about it, we can make sure our kids aren't swimming okay. in these waters. You, you're looking out for the children. Yes, yes I appreciate that. Thank you. But I, I think every parent does, that you're looking out for their kids. It's what I do. The thing is, the picture you showed me of the kid who was hiding 
hiding his face but had this carved blue whale on his forearm yes. was a complete forearm carving. Unless he wore long sleeve shirts the rest of his life and his parents never saw his forearms, they would, I mean, it wasn't a teeny thing behind, behind his, on the back of his neck under his mullet. This was something that stands out right. that you would see. Summertime. So any parent not knowing what the hell you're talking about is going to go, uh, what the hell are you doing carving stuff into your arm? I get it. And the concern happens there as a parent. I don't need to be told, oh, this is part of a blue whale thing and the end of suicide. As soon as I see something carved in my kid's arm like that, I'm going to say, if I see just the lines, oh, my kid's a cutter. Just straight lines right. across their forearm. All right, there's a sign my kid's cutting himself. Maybe I should go talk to him. I saw a documentary on cutting not too long ago. And these cutters, they hide it. They, they find a way to cut them places. Are you always looking at your kid's ankles? Are you always looking up under the sleeve? Now, I get it. This, this whale thing is more visible because it's on the arm. But that's if they're, if they're carving the whale on their arm, they're very close to the last well, step. I think and that's a design themselves. as opposed to just, oh, I scratched myself. I bumped into a, you know something that was sharp and yeah. scratched me. This is, oh, it scratched you like a whale? Awesome. Well, well, and I think it's the, the whole point of this is you want to get to your kid before this happens. So if you're going yeah. home and you see your kid has yes written on his leg, you're like, what's that mean? What, what's yes mean? Now you heard the story and you're like, oh, crap. Yeah. And do I need to investigate? You find out before the whale carving. Didn't Eric say he just tried no. to do an Instagram search and it's you can't do that now? It's blocked? They've it? got it. If you search for those terms, it'll actually pop up a warning that asks you if you need help because the terms you're searching for usually lead to self harm or even death. And Heidi searched it on Facebook and it came right up. The tons, Blue Whale tons Challenge. Tons and tons and tons and tons. Here's somebody that's saying the, from the 310. If you want to text the show, text FHF and your comment to 68683. says the benefit of the Blue Whale is that no one can say, we didn't see any of the signs he or she would do this. Oh. So if they had a Blue Whale on their arm and it's partially healed. And then they kill themselves. Like, okay, you didn't see that whale? Pay attention. Just pay attention, parents. That's a real message. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The one kid who's dead so far from this, his other friends didn't know what he was doing. They saw him doing weird stuff. The signs were there, but they didn't know what the signs meant. So now you know what they mean. Look out for your kids. We got uh, Rudy on line seven. Hey, Rudy. Hey, how's it going, Heidi, Frank, What's up, Rossi? Man? Um, yeah, I came across that on the online and. My 13-year-old nephew, I explained to him, because he likes to do all these challenges. They have, like, a lava ground challenge and all that. So I was explaining to him, hey, so I hear there's this blue whale challenge, and his eyes just kind of, like, bugged out. And he was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, it's kind of dumb, huh? And he was just like, yeah, I think those kids with agreement with you, uh, Frank, he's like, yeah, they should die. So. Well, I mean, he he might try to chug a bottle of Tabasco sauce because that's a Tabasco sauce challenge. But he says that he has his limits as far as things that he'll do. Exactly. So I had to kind of explain to him what mental health issues are and um, get on track with that. And I told him, kind of told him, you know, hey, if you ever, ever kind of see yourself trying to like, you know, you need to talk to us and, you know, try to explain to him. But I think it's totally cool that you guys did bring it up and be aware about it because there's a lot of things on the Internet that parents aren't really aware of. Almost impossible to keep up with it. Thank you, Rudy. Is this originating out of Russia, Russian suicide game? That the, I don't know if it's from Russia That's what, or, that's what no. uh, Eric is saying. He just looked it up. It's a Russian suicide it game. It started in Russia, yeah, but it spread uh, throughout the entire world. It's happening in most countries now. And, you know, kids hell? get bullied a lot online. Who knows if you get towards the last of this, you, this kid who's like step 47, 48, may get bullied by his other... Players, come on, dude, jump off the building. Do it, do it, do, do it. Do they tell you how to kill yourself? Uh, what I read says that the method of death is decided by the guy who's manipulating the kids, but most often it's jump off a bridge. And some of the signs will be that one of the challenges is just visit a bridge. Then the next challenge will be sit on the edge of the bridge. Take a picture on social media of your legs dangling over the bridge. So if your kids are posting pictures of legs dangling over things, that might be one of the challenges. And there was a photo I saw very good about the bridge thing, Eric, the, of the, the girl who was saved. She was standing on the edge of a, of a building. She was going to jump off top of the building. I guess she didn't have a bridge in the neighborhood. But someone saw her up there and said, what are you doing? And found out she was running the edge of step 49 to 50 and jump off. Okay. Hello, Sarah. Hi. I'm calling in because I totally disagree with that previous caller. I don't think Frosty is bringing a negative attention to it. I think he's bringing um, us parents into being aware of it because I had no clue. 
So if you, if no you saw a, a giant blue whale carved into your kid's forearm, you'd still have no clue that something is going on. <laughs> no, no. What I'm talking about is I wasn't aware of the blue whale challenge. But you would I be aware of it at that point, what I'm saying. Yeah, Fossey of says it or not. you'd be aware of it, but like on social media, if they're posting pictures of their legs dangling over a bridge, of course I'd be nervous. But I wouldn't associate it with this challenge. Suicide yeah. is my point. But you'd still go, what are you doing sitting on the edge of a bridge? Get your... Yes, what, what, but what? I wouldn't associate it with the challenge. It's a, so, so you're what I'm uh, saying. As a parent, she's looking out for carvings. If I saw my kid dangling his legs, yeah, I'm talking to him about that picture right then. What are you doing? She's saying that she wouldn't have any idea. She, yeah, yeah, but... she see the picture dangling, dangling legs. See carvings. Have no idea. Yeah, that's that something is associated you look at with something that leads to suicide. But you still would bring it up with your kid if you saw it. Yes. As any good parent would. If you're a bad parent and they get to, get to step 50, you're a bad parent. Mm. Frankie told me as a teenager you used to sit over the overpass there and dangle your legs over the edge of the bridge. Of over, course I did. Over Highway 41. Didn't you do that? I did it to feel alive, not to feel dead. <laughs> But see, the Blue Whale Society wasn't around back then. That's what then. we used to do. But your kid, if you asked your kid and, and you were like, what the hell's up with this dangling your legs over the bridge? Don't be stupid. He's like, no, it's cool. So you don't think, oh, he's suicidal. He's just like, no, he's a cool guy. His testosterone's flowing. He's feeling cool. But now you know you the Blue Whale cool Challenge exists. It would be cool when you're a bug on a, on a semi's windshield. Oh. Yeah. Mm. What can you do, though? I don't know. What can That's you do? Kind of hard um, as hell to be a parent. I mean, I you see those imagine. videos of just kids... Climbing radio towers or those construction of you know old buildings or water towers or something. They're standing on the very edge and they're like hanging me... by their finger. Mm. I'm like, what? It yeah. makes well, these, my stomach these parkour turn. guys were up on jumping from ledge to ledge outside of outside of a building. With GoPro cams With... on their head and you're just like, <laughs> my balls just suck up when I watch those videos. I can't imagine Mine that. But those guys have parents. Are they looking at, is this some challenge? This is what you said earlier about natural selection. If, if you're, there's something in your brain that makes you, that has no stop sign, that keeps you from jumping from building to building and doing stuff that if you slip, you die. You know what? Maybe there's something in your, in your brain that says, okay, you don't, you don't appreciate the danger of life, meaning you're probably going to die young. I don't think you can fix that. If your brain's just wired that way, it's wired that way. This blue challenge thing, though, is getting the area of cults and brainwashing. And teenagers, very vulnerable brains there, getting sucked into doing things with peer pressure and bullying, which can harm them or kill them. That's different from just being reckless and careless in life. You know the kid who a teenager would always take his dirt bike and jump over the canyon? You the never cool do kid? It? He probably's dead by 30. <laughs> <laughs> you never see him at your 20-year reunion. They're what dead. What Billy Joel say? You can't save those guys. <laughs> they, you can't save them. Billy Joel's right. Uh, Kenny, his daughter was a cutter and wants to tell you about it. Mm. Uh, okay. You guys there? Yeah, Kenny. Uh -oh. Hey, hi, Heidi Frosty and Frank. How you guys doing? Pretty good. So about a year and a half ago, my daughter's 16 now. Uh, she was 14 and a half, and uh, she started wearing wristbands on her wrist. Never did before. So I started checking them out, and I was, like, investigating, being a parent, why she wearing those things and what they meant. And then I noticed that underneath there was cutting. She was using the wristbands to hide her cutting. See, so parents so, don't always see what the kids are and doing. And why was she cutting? Um, she was depressed about her friendships and uh, being a young little girl growing up, losing friends and the drama that girls do. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but I talked to her and I noticed that there was some something going on. I can tell that there was something going on with her. If you don't talk to your kids and learn what's going on with your kids, and you just ignore and just think, oh, everything's okay, it's not okay. You right. notice the difference in your kid. Yeah, you the, notice something's going on in her attitude and the change of their demeanor. It's like Frosty. It's about being a parent. Yeah, it's right, Kenny. It's about being a parent, and I am a parent of humans, and these two are parents of animals. And Frosty, perfect examples. When your dog wasn't this dog you have, I think it was the dog before, Rudy Dog. Yes, Rudy. When Rudy is a, you know, was a Samoyed, white, fluffy dog, Frosty's type of dog. Like a sled dog. It licked its arm so much. That the pink from its tongue transferred to the fur <laughs> on its arm. Yes, yeah, it did. Self it's right so, arm. As a dog owner, as Frosty's child being this dog, he notices basically your dog was a cutter. Like OCD. And licked his arm pink and had some weird thing going on. You took it to the vet and maybe we'll get him on some anti anxiety medication. Heidi, you had a dog that was that was nuts. He would he would tear up the house and you were gone. Severe separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. So you did what you had to do. That is your child. Right. So if you didn't do anything and just put the dog in a pen outside and just let it go absolutely insane, 
You could have done that as a bad parent. For us, you could have said, oh, well, didn't, he's not bleeding. I don't care. You know, he's still eating. Of then, all the things you've said to me over the years, how dare you say my dog was a cutter? <laughs> <laughs> but he's also giving that you a huge compliment. That is so below the belt. And he's, Bloomington local. He's uh, giving you a huge compliment that you're a good parent. Yeah, dumbs. My dog. I well, said, you noticed your son had a problem, yes, so you took I, him yes, to get I, him some medication so he would stop licking himself. And they said, you know what? In the bad place. They said there's nothing Meaning wrong with him. He doesn't have itchy skin. He has a habit. And once his brain, for whatever reason, he started licking his, his, his arm, the brain now made that the normal thing to do. So for the comfort. rest of his life, it's just what he did. Because he couldn't grab a knife. Oh my God! But, that, but you're suggesting he was miserable and screwed up, and if he were a teenager, be in his room cutting his wrist. Oh, see, and, 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 and you and you are that bad parent who refuses to believe that a kid has a problem, that they might be miserable, they might be depressed. This is like, oh no, not my kid. My kid would never kill themselves. Who's the happiest and dog when it ever? Does, they're like, I don't know what happened. My dog didn't have a Couldn't care. Have been my kid. Oh well, my oh. dog was the most spoiled, pampered dog in the world. Yeah, rich kids don't kill themselves. My dog was like... It's only poor kids, right? My dog was like Paris Hilton. A nice, rich place to live with toys everywhere. No, I don't mean her. I mean uh, Nicole Richie. No, I mean um, Nick Carter. Uh, no, I don't mean Nick... Anyway. Yeah. Do you pretend your dog is Nick Carter? I'm just asking. Be honest. <laughs> Do you refuse to believe your current dog has autism? My dog doesn't have autism. Yes, he Why would does. You? He's he got at bit. least a touch of Asperger's. You got to get him some medication. Well, maybe he's emulating Papa. I have Asperger's. And you still won't fix that. <laughs> Your dog says hi to everybody in his bark. You say hi to no one. It's, very bizarre. it's a weird combo to see. He's I think his like, dog's yelling, help. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my dogs out of this. We're just gonna... <laughs> An attentive parent of a child, I know, uh, it has good intentions, but parents work. Parents aren't home. Uh, and that's hey, a bunch of blah, blah, blah. No, you know what? My parents, yes, it is. my parents had no idea that I drank when I was in high school. They didn't know. They knew. They did not know. Yes, they did. You just they blamed your brother. They didn't, well, they didn't know I drank. <laughs> they never smelled it on your breath? No, I didn't come up with it on my breath. They then, they, know I had... then they're bad parents. No, they, they, they refused was, to, to they, they hated Donnie, your brother, yes. and accepted the fact that he was going to be the loser child and didn't want to accept the fact that their winner child, you, had that issue. So yes. they're going to blame Donnie and, and, and blind themselves. Yes. That's what they did. Now look how you turned out. And look Damn how he turned them. Out. Well, look how he turned out. Miserable failure. Exactly, because well, they made go. him one. He was destined to be a failure. Who cares if I blame the beer stain in my car seat on him? <laughs> Oh, Donnie. So one morning I had oh a spill the beer driving around. Oh, Donnie. And don't do this, It was by more way. than that. It was a beer. This one was a beer. This is when you got the car stuck doing donuts in the yard. That's a different story. Oh. And oh, so. I thought that was the same night, too. I didn't know I'd spilled the beer in the front seat, and I went to bed. <laughs> Next morning, I wake up. Mom is pulling me by my hair out of bed. That's how I woke up. That's how he lost his hair. Yeah, Mom doesn't know. Do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy, sick him. <laughs> Lick him. <laughs> Mom doesn't normally cuss, but she was cussing up a storm. You're going to get H E double L from me. D A M M U. And she pulls me out there and she drags me across the yard and st opens a car door and shoves my head in the car seat, pushing my nose and mouth right into the wet spot. Is that the first and last <laughs> time you ever experienced? Yeah. She goes, <laughs> What is this? It's beer, isn't it? Now, I, have, I just woke up. I'm still in sleep brain. I'm still foggy. So I'm like, uh, my brother, my brother. Yeah, my brother. He threw a beer in the window and it spilled it. I was going to tell you. My brother did it. She goes, I knew it. And she goes, I'm so sorry. You speak to the baby. Let's see what I mean. Take your Dairy Queen later. Take your Dairy Queen later. I'll buy you out to John Alvin later. Stay here. <laughs> and she goes downstairs just stomping, stomp, stomp, stomp. I hear my brother. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, my God. See? See what? And in that moment. She knew, but she didn't, didn't want to believe it was you. So when you gave her an out and said it was Donnie, she went and beat his ass. My point is that's the only time they come close to catching me. They'd had no idea I was a drinking fish during high It's school. called denial. She knew. No. I bet we can call her right now and ask her if she knew it was you. And, no, and, don't and her, in her ripe old age, no. she'd say, yes, we knew. I don't want you to ruin my reputation. I don't want them to die knowing that I was a boozing high school kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that one bastion of success in my family. Don't take that away from them. Don't kill them. <laughs>
<laughs> Lisa May, what's going on in traffic right now? Traffic report is brought to you by Taco Bell, a sig alert issued for the 605 freeway in Baldwin Park. Southbound lanes of the 605 affected right at Ramona. Injury wreck with a motorcycle. Left lane is blocked. Traffic is backed up all the way to the 210. Some good news in Pacoyman. They've canceled the sig alert on the transition from the 210 westbound to the 118 westbound. All lanes there are open. Still working with a wreck on the Pasadena freeway, 110 southbound at Avenue 52. Look for delays coming away from York. On the 405 north Northbound transition to the South 710. That's a stall in the middle lane and an Irvine clearing a crash North 5 at Culver. That's backed up to the 133. When you've had a morning, let Taco Bell make it a little better with the new breakfast quesadilla, fluffy eggs, crispy bacon, and melty cheese pressed inside a warm grilled tortilla. That's traffic on 95.5 KLOS. Attention car owners. Is that you? Well, you know, many of you guys tell me that it's hard to find the time to sell your car, so you just simply take the trade-in value without really checking out other options like carstub.com. Don't do that. It's silly. Carstub.com is the new marketplace to sell your car, your truck, your van, your SUV, whatever you got going on, hassle-free. Carstub.com's convenient service will send a friendly appraiser to your home or your office, wherever you want to meet, and give you a free, no-obligation offer, and you get more than a dealer trade-in price without the hassles of private party sales. Carstub.com makes selling a used vehicle easy, they do all the DMV paperwork for you. That's that hassle I was telling you about. They handle all of that. And maybe you want to upgrade to a new car. Carstub.com can help you with that as well. My friend Derek Emery, he's the owner. In the biz, he's known as Sledgehammer Derek. He got that nickname because he will buy any car, even if it's got dents in it. He doesn't care. So if you're wondering how much cash you're driving around, you can find out by calling this number, 800-870-1841. That's 800-870-1841. Or submit your car for free at carstub.com. Busy lives need convenience. That's why you need carstub.com. All right, Lisa May, what else is going on in the world? Money on the 20s coming up at 920. The key word today is Van Nuys. When you hear the cue to call, be caller 20 at 800-955-KLOS. Know the keyword and you will be qualified. News of the day is brought to you by McDonald's. At the box office, War for the Planet of the Apes was new in theaters and in first place. Made $56.5 million. That pushed Spider-Man Homecoming down to second place, $45.2 million. That's a 62% drop for that movie, which is the biggest second week drop off for any Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. So, uh, even in spite of good reviews. Mm -hmm. Despicable Me was in third place, $18.9 million. Then Baby Driver and The Big Sick rounded out the top five. A veteran Hollywood actor passed away yesterday. Martin Landau died at UCLA Medical Center from unexpected complications during a short hospitalization. He won an Oscar for his role as Bella Lugosi in Tim Burton's movie Ed Wood, and he was nominated for two other movies, Woody Allen's Crimes and Misdemeanors and Tucker, The Man in His Dream. He was also in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest with Cary Grant. In fact, he was in almost 200 films and TV shows. Hardly anyone now remembers the old black and white Mission Impossible. I do. That the Tom Cruise franchise is based on back Peter Graves, Barbara Bain. Yeah, who was Martin his Landa. wife at the time. Yeah. That was his big break. That, that was, was a Mission great Impossible. show. It really was. That's where the whole peeling the face off came. The original Mission Impossible. Yeah. The father of modern horror movies also died yesterday, George Romero, the writer and director of Night of the Living Dead, which is the scariest movie I've ever seen, passed away from lung cancer. His producing partner said he died in his sleep while listening to the soundtrack of The Quiet Men, one of his favorite movies with his wife and daughter at his side 77 years old a big change for fans of doctor who when peter capaldi steps down next year a woman will take over the main character this will be the first time that happens in this bbc series jody whittaker she's 35 years old she's going to be the new doctor she Mistake. starred in broadchurch did you see the original on bbc broadchurch yes, yes. then you would know who she was she was the mom in broadchurch brilliant oh, brilliant brilliant in that actress, show i love yeah. her to death but we don't want a woman doctor who I don't no, no. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, she'll be the 13th person to play the doctor. And some fans like you, Frosty, say it will ruin the show. But she put out a statement saying, give her a Take chance. Take off the W. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe then. Uh, don't be scared by gender. <laughs> all right. Uh, news of the day brought to you by McDonald's from all-time favorites like an egg McMuffin to a delicious egg white and turkey sausage breakfast bowl. There's a McDonald's for every morning. That's news of the day. Since you uh, kind of brought it up, uh, the whole thing about equality, 
Tell me this sounds like we have quality at men and women, gender. A 27-year-old woman from Oregon who groped a 19-year-old woman on an Alaska Airlines flight last year was sentenced on this past Monday to eight months of home confinement. Uh, no. 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 Yeah. No. Equality, my no, not... ass. Mm. All right. Uh, somebody here on text says, I came in late. Are blue whales committing suicide? <laughs> <laughs> no, blue whales are not, not committing suicide. Yeah, uh... But if you do want to save lives, the 36th annual KLOS Blood Drive uh, starts uh, July 19th through the 22nd at Red Blood. RedCrossBlood.org to schedule your appointment, donate blood, and score a ticket to see Sammy Hagar and The Circle featuring Michael Anthony, Jason Bonham, and Vic Johnson at the Glen Hill and Amphitheater September 10th while supplies last. Uh, so uh, be sure and go to 955KLOS.com slash blood for more details on that's happening all weekend long. Now when we come back, Christian Hand is going to be joining us in the studio. He takes some rock songs and he splits them down element by element, track by track. You'll never listen to music the same way again. Christian Hand next. We are Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Coming up on Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, brought to you by Taco Bell. Money on the 20s coming up at 920. The keyword today is Van Eyes. When you hear the cue to call, you want to be caller 20 at 800-955-KLOS. Know the keyword and you'll be qualified. When you've had a morning, let Taco Bell make it a little better with the new breakfast quesadilla, fluffy eggs, crispy bacon, and melty cheese pressed inside a warmed grilled tortilla. All right, you know, summer is great. It's great for a lot of things, but what does suck about summer is trying to get a good night's sleep. You've been there. I know I've been there. Um, I'm not there anymore, thanks to Jerry at Jerome's Furniture. And I'm talking about waking up in the middle of the night hot, tossing and turning because you just can't you can't get comfortable. That is why you need the brand new mattress from Jerome's Furniture. It's called the Jerome's Estate Copper Gel Mattress. It's a, a gel memory foam mattress that's infused with real copper. And you're thinking, okay, real copper, what's that mean for me? Well, what it means for you is it's a foam. It's the most advanced gel memory foam on the market, keeping your sleeping temperature in the perfect zone, which is 68 to 72 degrees. Did you know that? It's not too hot, not too cold. That's the perfect uh, temperature and it will also optimize and regulate your perfect sleeping temperature by giving you a more restful night's sleep and to make it even more comfortable jerome's went a step further added natural latex foam giving it just the right amount of support and bounce the only downside is after sleeping on the estate copper gel mattress you're never going to want to get out of bed again that is makes things a little bit tough you can check out what i'm talking about and look online and uh, check it out also stop by one of their seven convenient locations but check them out online at jerome's.com we could all use a little more adventure in our lives whether that means biking down the face of a mountain, kite surfing, or just an amazing find at the farmer's market, we all define adventure a little differently. But no matter how you define it, there's a BMW SAV to get you there. From the superior handling and sleek design of the X3, to the luxury and unrelenting power of the X5, to the thrilling performance and versatility of the X1, there's a BMW SAV for every kind of journey. Plus, all BMW SAVs have more than enough cargo space for any outing. So, head to your local BMW center for exceptional offers through BMW Financial Services and define your own adventure in a BMW SAV. Even if it is at the local farmer's market. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Right now, lease the 2017 BMW X1 S Drive 28i Special Edition for as low as $329 a month. Visit SoCalBMW.com today for details. If you've ever seen and heard Disney's Main Street Electrical Parade, you'll never forget it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Main Street Electrical Parade. As day turns to night, anticipation turns to excitement. As the parade's thousands of sparkling lights and distinctive, unforgettable music makes its way down Main Street, USA and into the hearts of millions of guests. But this treasured parade rolls away August 20th. So hurry, don't miss this chance to experience this unforgettable part of Disneyland Resort history. Come see for yourself why this shimmering celebration has been a favorite of guests for decades. Visit Disneyland.com for details. 
It's Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley's friends and family discount this week. Hundreds of pre-owned Harleys tagged with discount pricing. Save two, four, even $6,000 at Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley's pre-owned friends and family discount. You pay what we pay this week only. Good credit, bad credit, and no credit. We can help. We can help. Finance specialists are on site to help get you approved. Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley is considering 100% of all credit applications. Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley's pre-owned friends and family discount event and Sunday. Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley's friends and family discount is happening right now. Pre-owned Harley's tagged with discount pricing. Over 1,000 Harley's ready for immediate delivery. The largest inventory in California. Save two, two four, four, even $6,000 at Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley's pre-owned friends and family discount. You pay what we pay this week only. You don't need perfect credit and don't need a cash down payment. Riverside and Huntington Beach Harley's pre-owned friends and family discount event ends Sunday. Are you living with depression? Are you having trouble controlling it with your current medication? If you answered yes to both of those questions, you are not alone. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, major depression affects approximately 7% of adults. And the journal Patient Preference and Adherence reports an estimated 10 to 30% of patients with major depression do not respond to typical antidepressant medications. Right now, there's a clinical research study in your area, and you may qualify to participate. The purpose of this study is to determine if an investigational medication given as a nasal spray is safe and effective for patients who have not responded to prior treatment. Those who qualify will receive the study medication, study-related medical exams, and laboratory tests at no cost. Compensation for time and travel may also be available. To find out if you qualify, call the study site at 833-878-8878. That's 833-878-8878. Call now, 833-878-8878. It's strong. It's peerless. It's imposing. It's bold. It's light. And it's delicious. Easy Eagle. We're not talking about you. We are talking about Tecate Light. The light beer you are looking for. It's light, but full of flavor. And it's great with carne asada. Beef, not eagle meat. Tecate Light, born bold. Enjoy Tecate and Tecate Light responsibly. Copyrights 2017. Tecate Beer and Tecate Light Beer, imported by Cervezas Mexicanas, White Plains, New York. At 7-Eleven, we're all about freedom. Like freedom to choose our exclusive pear, cucumber, barrelitos, aguas frescas, big gulp drink for just 99 cents. We like freedom so much, we're choosing to give this woodchuck 7.11 seconds to figure out how much wood she could chuck. What's this, an abacus? Uh-uh. Anyone got a calculator? I'm not really a numbers gal. I'm more of a big ideas gal. Okay. Come into 7-Eleven and try our exclusive Barrelitos Aguas Frescas Big Gulp drink for just 99 cents. Overthrow ordinary. Only at 7-Eleven. Plus tax were applicable. Limited time offer at participating locations. Presenting a set for life story starring... Insert your name here. There you are on your... Insert dream adventure. Suddenly, your guide points. Behind some trees is a... Insert special dream animal. You quickly snap a... Insert dream selfie. Then you, your selfie and special dream animal go viral. Live your wildest realities with 20,000 a month for 25 years. Play Set for Life Scratches from the California Lottery. Please play responsibly. Must be 18 or older to play. Time Warner Cable Business Class is now Spectrum Business. And at Spectrum Business, the best keeps getting better. What does that mean for you? It means your business gets faster internet, more advanced voice, and over 99.9% .9 network reliability. It also means no added taxes or fees, and no contracts, ever. Because at Spectrum Business, we believe in earning your business every day. Just call 866-928-4330 to get our new faster internet speeds, up to 100 megabits per second. Now for only $44.99 a month, and that's not all. You can also add advanced business voice with unlimited long distance and over 30 calling features for just $29.99 a month. It's all part of our commitment to redefining what a cable company can be. Call 866-928-4330 today and switch to Spectrum Business to get new, faster internet and advanced voice for our best price ever. Restrictions apply. Call for details. 
I'm here at 76, letting people know that when they play Tank 5, they have a 1 in 5 chance to win instantly. People just like you. Me? Nah, I never win anything. But my sister Marcy, well, she wins stuff all the time. Scratch-offs, giveaways, sweepstakes. No, really. You just bought eight gallons of gas. Now all you have to do is play Tank 5 for your chance to win. Yeah, in your face, Marcy! <laughs> See 76tank5.com for official rules and no-purchase mail-in game card request, eligibility, and odds. While supplies last, ends August 31st, 2017. 76, we're on the driver's side. Make the most of your summer at the Hollywood Bowl with a spectacular lineup of music under the stars. The iconic Indiana Jones swings into action at Raiders of the Lost Ark in concert August 4th and 5th. Relive the magic of this swashbuckling adventure on the Bowl's big screen in HD with one of composer John Williams' best love scores performed live by the Los Angeles Philharmonic. Get your tickets now at HollywoodBowl.com. Hollywood Bowl, where summer plays. From the Morongo Casino Studios, it's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1. Mm, mm, mm. Christian Hand is here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why we're um umming though. It's because we got I pizza. Am. I can hear you getting fatter. Out oh my god, pizza, I know, me too. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I got stretch marks on my teeth. <laughs> Pizza and wings and all kinds of things. Yeah, Out of the Park Pizza is sponsoring Scomicon, featuring Real Big Fish, Less Than Jake, and more. The event is happening this Friday and Saturday at Out of the Park Pizza's Anaheim location on La Palma Avenue. For tickets and info, go to parksandrock.com. And they brought us by some pizza. And they also buy, bought us by some Basil Hayden's. No, basil, get out. Basil. Basil. It's Basil. It's Kentucky bourbon. If it's Kentucky, it's Bebop. <laughs> Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey because uh, Dan Smith, the owner, is a big fan of the show, so he knows how much we like to eat pizza right. and drink whiskey. Too much talking, not enough pouring. I know. Have you ever had the Basil Hayden's? No, we're about to. And this pizza is amazing. Ooh, by it's a cork, not even a screw off. What is? Is it a? Is it a Scotch or a whiskey? It's a Kentucky bourbon. Oh, Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. So it could be really, really smooth. Oh, the smooth. glug, glug, there glug could be really, of really, really yeah, Come on. Out of if anybody mind. needs a shot of whiskey, it's, it's you. Not happening. Seriously? <laughs> no when did you quit way. drinking? Uh, I've never really been a drinker. Marijuana Leave this all. room. Really? Oh, you yeah. tried it and said, nah. Yeah, it's just like, why Why would you do that when you could just get high? Yeah, oh. well, there is that. Well, you want to get high? Let's get high. <laughs> got pizza. I'll do that. I'll do that one day with you on the air. Oh, definitely. He's always holding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right. Down the hatch. Down, down the hatch. hatch. And thank you, Down the Park Pizza. Here we go. And thank you, Dan, for bringing us by the whiskey. Now let's take a shot. Basil Hayden's. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> Smooth. Let's get some kick to it. Just put some hair on your ah! throat. That beard goes all the way down now. <laughs> yeah. It opens the nasals. Oh, that's good stuff. Ooh, mm. just hit the all belly. Right. So Christian Hand has joined yeah. us like he does every single Monday to break down pizza. a rock song for us. And uh, I'm curious as to the song you picked out today just because of your mood. Nice. That's what happens when you're single. After four years, it's going to be enough of a breakup song from now until the end of 2017, everybody. Get ready. It is, of course, the police's so lonely from 1978's Outlandus D'Amore. It's one of my favorite bands of all time. I have a massive Stuart Copeland tattoo on the back of my business because you that guy's do? a douche. On the back of your business? Yeah, the back on my back. My back oh. has a massive... <laughs> wow. Yeah, I have a huge Stuart Copeland tattoo. Huh. I used to have a thing where the people that came to the studio that I respected would get to autograph my back, and then over the course of the show, it would get tattooed into me. And Stuart did it, but it's like this big. And when he did it, he was like, man, that, that seems a little, maybe I was a little harsh on you. And I was like, yeah, and after four hours of the most oh. intense pain, I could have imagined. Did it, it took four sting? Hours? It took four hours. It did sting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ow. Speaking of his highness, it's Stuart Copeland, one of my favorite drummers of all time. Also a, a fellow Asperger. He, he had uh, he had research done where they MRI'd his brain. He's got a bigger medulla oblongata than than a human being should have, or something. It's like six children times, listening. Six times the size. Of, and I, I'm amazed the police didn't have an album called uh, Medulla Oblongata. That's a good one. Thank you. So, so he's just rocking Christian, along. That snare sound doesn't have a lot of like vibration to it. What, what did he do to get that sound? I would imagine back in the day, he would have just put a wallet on it. But you can hear that bass drum is beefy. So he does this. This is.
is why he's my guy. This would be slower. Basil Hayden's bunch of animals. Let's think of that. Basil. So as you can hear, it's just uh, this is the, the one of their you know their they were a post punk band, not just a reggae band or a white reggae band, and this is definitely their post punk vibe. And then when he gets big going, he gets this. Solid. So, you know, it's not one of his, uh, it's not walking on the moon. It's not one of his more, uh, you know, creative pieces, but it's rambunctious. Do you think he was happy with it? Uh, he, I, it's, he's, yeah, he's the kind of guy who wouldn't let it out of the, uh, he wouldn't let it out of the, the bar, the barn if it wasn't, uh, perfect. Have you ever met him? Have you ever met him? No, no. He's a lovely chap. He's just, uh, he's very, he's very specific. Perfectionist. He's a bit of a perfectionist, he is. Now, speaking of perfectionists, of course, the bass department. The bleed through we're hearing is from the That's headphones. That's his headphones. Gordon Sumner, a.k.a. Sting. Carefully, yes, you can hear his headphones. Mm-hmm. And this entire song is actually based on Bob Marley's No Woman, No Cry. Believe it or not. hear it. Yep. And then, of course, he gets all beefy. Them. It's one of the best bassists in the history of music. That's a, not an exaggeration. And if you've never seen his uh, Kennedy um, honors performance of The Rising by Bruce Springsteen, it's one of the greatest things you'll ever see. Go on YouTube and check out Sting Does the Rising at the Kennedy uh, mm. Awards. It's incredible. So to get that, he's just tapping the spring. He's not pulling it or plucking it. Yeah, it's just sort of like marking. He's got a pick. to do that if you're the lead singer of the band. Nobody can argue with you. And then he goes back into it. Total punk rock. Such an amazing rhythm section. One of my favorites. Up. Ooh. Oh, I know. So groovy. And then the octave up on the punk.
yeah, but, oh. yeah, yeah. No, they were, these guys are good. They might, they might be a big deal eventually. <laughs> just see that. Some kids out of Anaheim. All right, so in the guitar department, you've got Andy Summers, who's one of the most creative guitar players ever. He plays with Robert Fripp and a bunch of dudes. And he's not one of these guys that plays a traditional part ever. So this. So 1980s. Are we listening to two different takes? One yes. on the left and one on the right speaker? Absolutely. Frost? Yeah. Professional. I know. Is this bacon on this pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Focus. Basil. All right. Language. <laughs> Like all these little Texas twang things? Yeah. You wouldn't do that in a reggae song. Mm. Yeah, no, it's spicy. And then the chorus. And jalapeno. Can't see what these clowns are doing on the radio. It's it involves oh, a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> so as you can see, he's definitely It's not traditional. It's kind of what Andy Summers is known for. Yeah, I know. It's like really weird. Like if he, this was intended. Where it goes. What? What <laughs> happened? Really? Right? When you left, you'd be like, ah, oh, no, take it out. No, leave it in. I mean, it just doesn't make any, a, a lick of, that boy don't make a lick of sense. Yeah, this is actually the solo, so when you hear it in the song, you're like, oh. Now it makes sense. All right, so you want to hear uh, Sting a Ling a Ding Dong play a harmonica solo? <laughs> Here he goes, ready? Here he is. You can answer that close. Here he goes right here with a little bit of the old. Ah, uh, so good. I can't wait to get all these bits in. Let me go back to this, which is actually a reggae vibe, because when you put it in like this. Mm. He wrote a great book called One Train. I mean, all this stuff was going on. Sorry. I know, that's the point of the bit. Yeah. I know, and every week you every, get it. Yeah. Every yeah. damn yeah. week, it's like, what the hell? He, uh, he wrote a book called One Train Later, and basically the, the story of, the, of, of Andy joining the police is he... he was about to get the two trains pulled up and he was about to get on one train that would have whisked him off to a normal life and then the other train was to the police audition and he had to like work out which train he was going to go on and he got on the police audition train and then obviously his life is completely different from yeah. that point on uh so you can't talk about the police without the vocal stylings of gordon which is why he called himself sting i wonder Try if it's the third train where he would have ended up in train it's, too, it's, it's the uh, it's a timeline. No? Yeah. It's, it's the basil really talking. Yeah. It's the basil Sorry. talking. That's the basil. That's the basil. Good lord. I was just wondering. Oh, inside no, you my got brain. this. You got this. Okay. All right. Ready? So this is 
this vocal, try to try to imagine doing this yourself. In fact, you should try it now, Basil. <laughs> now you had a couple of drinks. <laughs> Sick harmonies. With himself? Yeah, of course. It's Sting, you know, nobody sings with Sting. I'll just sing with myself. To be picky, but no. Nah. It's still a punk band. For a thousand years of you can hear it. Little woman, no cry. Couldn't do it. So good. These harmonies are. There's only one guy. In this theater that I call my soul, I always... This is me. This is me. This is so head. Now we get a little modulation up, you animals. Ready? <laughs> ah. And now this. <laughs> He's off script now. Adlib. Trudy already you know? at this point. Is Lyrics by Sting. Yeah, that is. I feel so lonely. I feel so lonely. I feel so lonely. I'm also living it daily right no, now, so you know, you know, it's great, it's great. I'm We've all lived, lived it at one point. About it. We've yeah. all been there singing that in Have our we? heads. I yeah. mean, as far as feeling lonely. Uh. Like there's never gonna be a high ever again. We're so no. low, so low, 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 low. Couple of shots of basil. You already love. Speaking low. of, <laughs> <laughs> you poured another one. All right, so there it is. You need to get yourself Atlantis Demore from uh, the police, 1978. I mean, it was like nobody else doing this. Nobody's done it since. Can you do anything that's not two finger? No. Easy. Sometimes three. <laughs> is it true, Christian? That, yes. That Sting has an IQ that's like off the charts. I know he's a. Yes. Big, 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 he's incredibly big. smart, and he can have sex for 18 hours. <laughs> Between those two things, what else do you have to worry about? I don't know if anybody's looking for that though. Sex for 18 hours, Which Christian. Sting? I think you can get it in there, get it done in the uh, under, yeah. seven, yeah. under seven. Under <laughs> seven. Under seven minutes? Yeah. I like to put a or good seven day hours. Like, we got stuff to do. We're laying here all night for. 
Get it done. What are you doing? If it takes you too, it takes you that much time. You're not that good at it. Romance ain't dead. You know, the whole here. time, the idea, the whole time you're is edging. you're, you're on oh. the precipice. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. You're doing it right. I don't think that's right. I think it's right, right? Is that what it's supposed to be? The precipice. You get right to that point and you breathe through it. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever yeah. tried it? No. no. You ought to? No. 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 <laughs> I just get really high and then have sex for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that tantra garbage. Uh, all right, so on August 19th, I'm going to be breaking down some Yes and some Boston live at the Swing House Studios. You can uh, go to the sessiononair.com. That's the sessiononair.com for tickets. Uh, we're going to be giving away a great pair of audio fly headphones that night. Those guys are coming in to show people what it's like to actually listen to decent music on decent headphones. And uh, don't forget, you can find me on Instagram, at King Trot, on Facebook, Christian James Hand. And the session on air on Facebook is my Facebook page. You should definitely check it out. And with a bit of luck, let my show back on the air here at KLS. Sooner yes. than later. Yeah, yes, right. yes, Thank yes, you so yes, much, like, Christian. Love having you on. My it pleasure. Is, uh, money on the 20s, so it's time to be caller 20 at 895-5KLS. Tell us today's keyword, and you'll score a $25 gift card to Del Taco. Juicy Pork Carnitas are back. Then the $500 could be yours later today when Gary Moore calls the winning name at 5.20 p.m. Don't, Don't forget to uh, sign up for the KLOS Blood Drive. Mm. Save a life. The 36th Annual KLOS Blood Drive, July 19th through the 22nd. Go to redcrossblood.org to schedule your appointment, donate blood, and score tickets to see Sammy Hagar in the Circle featuring Michael Anthony, Jason Bonham, and Vic Johnson, Glen Helen Amphitheater, September 10th, while supplies last. I already scheduled mine. I'm on Friday at Woodland Hills. I'm Thursday. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm up Thursday, our... Woodland yes. Hills. Where are you? Uh, Thursday in Glendale. In Glendale. We're all giving our life fluid. Uh, and also thank you to Out of the Park Pizza. Out of the Park Pizza brought some pizza buy for this uh, Christian Hand segment. It's sponsoring yeah. Scomicon, featuring Real Big Fish, Less Than Jake, and more. The event is happening this Friday and Saturday at Out of the Park Pizza's Anaheim location on La Palma Avenue. For tickets and more info, go to parksandrock.com. And thank you to owner Dan Smith for bringing us the Basil Hayden. Basil. Basil Hayden. <laughs> Kentucky yeah, yeah. Bourbon. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Great pizza. Says here, yeah, out of the park pizza, family friendly, best craft beers, best pizza in Orange County. And if you're, right. if you're pregnant and you need to get that baby out already, the labor inducer. All right. Order the labor <laughs> inducer. Extra pizza sauce, pepperoni, garlic, pineapple, and more. Oh, great. It's their guarantee. The morning after pizza. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, come on. Wow. It's, it's That's different. what they should have called it's it. Different. Anyway, yeah. Dan didn't call me. All right, let's apologize to those of you that we have offended and get the hell out of here. We're lonely. I mean, <clears throat> we're sorry to the following Boise, Idaho. Foster Kids, The Female Doctor Who, and George Romero. Mercy's Playground, Mercy Playground, Ed Sheeran, Women Named Nancy, and Mo the Dog. Bad Moms, Martin Landau, Jehovah Witnesses, and Doritos. Cheese Fest, Bobby Joe Wesley, Nopog Whiskey Connoisseurs, and Four Dealers. The American Red Cross, Parkourists. Caitlyn Jenner and Lay's Potato Chips. The Dodgers, Billy Joel, the Ruthless Riders, and all bicyclists. Boozing High School Kids, Rudy Dog, Nick and Aaron Carter, and my brother Donnie. The Police, Chuck Norris, Out of the Park Pizza, and Equal Opportunity Gropers. Pigs named Napoleon, Blue Whales, Basil Hayden, and my daughter Cassidy. You really have to listen to the whole show. We are Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Sports on tap. On the rock of Southern California. 95.5 KLOS. Dodgers just can't lose. Extending their winning streak to nine in a row. Rich Hill gets the win. And Justin Turner goes deep. I am officially not making any plans for October. Angels with a win, beating the Rays 4-3. to three. If you're wondering where they're standing heading into the second half. Rays lead in the wild card. The Angels are three and a half back. Trailing only the Yankees, Twins, Royals, Mariners, and Rangers. So they're in it. And in Vegas, it's Summer League. Lakers with another win, 108-98 over the Mavs. Lonzo Ball, a double-double, 16-10. and But this Kyle Kuzma is someone to watch. He continues to impress with 24. I'm Pete Fox at Sports on Tap on the Rock of Southern California. 95.5 KLOS.